do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Lock it here for more live content. Free Talk Live is next on the Liberty Radio Network. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, May 6th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.54 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,195 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $237. Antiwar.com reports, as expected, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell from Kentucky has cut off debate on the compromise bill aimed at giving Congress the power to veto a P5 plus 1 nuclear agreement with Iran. Senator McConnell's move cuts off debate on further amendments to the bill, which have predominantly aimed to add more onerous restrictions to a nuclear deal that would almost certainly kill the talks outright. This was a contentious subject among Senate hawks, as some wanted the harsher language in the bill, while others believed to put the veto-proof majority of the compromise bill at risk and might have prevented Congress from blocking the Iran deal in the future. The test vote for the bill is Thursday and aims for a 60-vote majority, which would formally cut off the possibility of getting further amendments into the bill. Hawkish Senators Tom Cotton from Arkansas and Marco Rubio from Florida have blasted the move. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numeracy supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the FANS program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot FPP Radio. Com. UPI reports the Obama administration on Tuesday approved companies to provide ferry services between the United States and Cuba. The U.S. Treasury and Commerce Department issued two licenses to operate between the two countries, according to the Sun Sentinel in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Those companies are Havana Ferry Partners of Fort Lauderdale, Baja Ferries of Miami, United Caribbean Lines Florida of Greater Orlando, and Airline Brokers Company of Miami and Fort Lauderdale. One Puerto Rican-based company, American Cruise Ferries, told CNN it has has also been granted a license. Cuba must also grant the company's approval in order for the service to proceed. Havana Ferries managing partner Leonard Mocklin Sr. told the Sun Sentinel, I'm very excited because this is a historical event in U.S.-Cuba relations. Traveling by ferry between the two countries is expected to be a cheaper option than flying and travelers could transport larger amounts of luggage. James D. Weinsand, an attorney for American Cruise Ferries, told CNN, this is a significant opportunity to advance U.S.-Cuba relations. The news came on the same day that New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced JetBlue Airways, partnered with Cuba Travel Services, would offer direct flights from New York City to Havana, Cuba, starting July 3rd. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports ride-hailing service Uber on Tuesday said it ceased operations in Kansas after the state legislature decided to override Governor Sam Brownback's veto of a bill that would impose stricter regulations on ride-hailing services. Uber said the bill makes it impossible for it to operate in the state. The Kansas Senate on Tuesday voted 96 to 25 to override Brownback's veto of the Kansas Transportation Network Company Services Act. The bill requires companies to certify that drivers have comprehensive 
collision and collision insurance and requires new drivers to undergo background checks performed by the Kansas Bureau of Investigation. Uber says it already conducts its own third-party background checks and provides commercial auto insurance coverage. The company has been fighting with cities across the United States, contending that it is not a taxi service and should not be required to adhere to existing taxi regulations. Uber said in March it would halt operations in Anchorage, Alaska until the city can work out details enabling the company's drivers to accept paying fares. In Oregon, the city of Eugene sued Uber in March, asking the court to stop Uber from operating until it meets what the city calls minimum safety requirements. Uber in February said it would suspend operations in Boise, Idaho after reaching an impasse in negotiations with city leaders over new regulations. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Jack Daniels announced today its plan to start marketing directly to children, adding, quote, why not? Executives for the whiskey company told reporters that they've already slated dozens of television spots showing 10-year-old children drinking tumblers of Jack and Coke in playgrounds and that the company was planning on, quote, just seeing how it all played out. Every year, Jack Daniels sells millions of dollars of great American whiskey to men and women all over the world. So for our next ad campaign, we basically just thought, hey, why not just start marketing this stuff straight to 10-year-olds? I mean, if they catch us, they catch us, but we'll see how far it goes, and hopefully we can sell some alcohol along the way. Sure, some parents' groups could get upset, especially if we go with our idea of moms serving their kids cranberry jack at snack time. But In other news, a doomed rabbit will teach an eight-year-old a lesson about responsibility, and a torrent of soap issues from a wildly unexpected part of the dispenser. Well, that was it. It's all downhill from here, bud. For more, visit theonion.com. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live. You're invited here to join us toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features that are waiting for you on the site. A lot of those other talk show hosts in the business, they charge you for accessing their websites. And ours is free. So you can go there and actually create the content, whatever it is that you see uh, online that you think is interesting, you might want us to talk about here on the radio. You can submit it as show prep there via our Reddit-based system. And then other listeners can vote on it, whether they like or dislike uh, what it is you've submitted, and you can vote on things as well. And then in the aggregate, we'll know what you think's interesting. Of course, the best way to share stuff with us is to call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE, or you can Skype into the show at Skype username lrn.fm. You know, it's one of those nights in the news where there's more than we can possibly uh, talk about. I've got a bunch of stuff, including the sex on the beach story, which from what you told me, Mark, you guys didn't cover last night. This thing's making headlines all over the place uh, out of Florida where... A couple is facing 15 years in prison for having sex on the beach. And I do want to talk about that, but Mark, you're fired up. And Chris Campbell's here. Hey, Chris. Good to be with you. Again. Welcome back. Uh, So, Mark, you're fired up. You've got a a couple of different articles uh, about feminism, sort of, and you want to compare and contrast. I'm not even sure if it's about feminism as much as it's just sort of about the... um... (sighs) This thing that's going on in the United States between the sexes, this didn't go on when I was younger. There wasn't this sort of animosity, uh, you know, between males and females and this kind of thing. And apparently it's— You feel there's animosity between males yeah, and I females? Yeah, I, you know, that's what I'm seeing. Are you talking about in your daily life, or you mean just on the internet? Well, the something? internet is my daily life, my friend. <laughs> I spent the vast majority of my waking time on the internet. What do you see? I mean, I don't. I guess I just don't notice this. I mean, I I I do think it's. Uh, I don't think it's a general strain between men and women, but I think that yeah. it's. Uh, there's an agenda that is being driven uh, by feminists and the left in general to create that strain. And is this it, new? I mean, feminism has been around for decades, right? Well, I feminism mean, has taken many different forms. We're not talking about the ladies getting the right to vote. That's pretty mm-hmm. much been established at this point. And it might really be full-on political suicide if you were to suggest otherwise, right? Like, my, if I'm going to run for president, my platform's going to be, you know what I want to do? I want to take half the population's right to vote away. 
Like you're I think dead, that would you're be a on dead Campwell's, man. Uh, Campwell's yeah. Campwell would actually yeah, advocate I'd, for I'd that. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, Campwell, I mean, I'd lose the election, but right. I'd say it. <laughs> Cantwell is much more interested in promoting ChristopherCantwell.com than he <laughs> yeah. is in getting elected. So, the, you know, there All you right, go. So, what you told me before the show, Mark, was that you had asked a question on our Facebook page about. Uh, what was the question you'd ask? There's something about feminism. Well, Why won't a feminist call the show? Yeah, basically, we've I'm been... I'm sure a- we've had a feminist call Free Talk Live. We may somewhere. have, but did, did they talk about feminism? as a co-host for a while, Stephanie Murphy? I could not get what I could, was considering to be a... Like, I didn't really know. After months of talking to Stephanie about what is feminism and what does it mean to you, all I could get was something like it means gender, uh, you know, gender egalitarianism. And t- I find that to be a highly unsatisfying uh, term because and Cantwell has said it before. If you called yourself an Aryan, people wouldn't think that you were for race rights. Right. If, we, we're, if we're talking about Aryanism, nobody would think that I'm talking about race equality. Right. Mm-hmm. But we have feminism, a, uh, a mass movement uh, specifically centered around uh, issues of a particular gender, and they're saying that this is about equality. Well, it's it's fundamentally not. What they're talking about is they sort of want to uh, gain what they perceive to be certain benefits of uh, uh, male personhood and simultaneously avoid some of the liabilities that would the come costs. with that. Yeah. Okay. And, and so, Mark, you've got a couple of different lists that are contrasting. One written by someone who would probably consider themselves a feminist about the supposed male privilege— and then another yes. one about female privilege, uh, essentially that. Okay. Um, so and so the question is the, the kind of the big question here between these two, and I have not read these, so nope. I don't know anything about it. Uh, but the big question is like which is more privileged? Is kind of the question. Is, right. If there is one that's more privileged, which one actually is more privileged? So I posted on the Facebook wall. Please, why, why has no feminist ever called Free Talk Live and sort of made a rational? And I did use a reasoned argument was the terminology I, for feminism because I just don't know why it hasn't happened. What I got was a response uh, from somebody, and I'm not sure how seriously they took it, but they mm-hmm. sent this. It's from EverydayFeminism.com. All right. It's written by a man named John Greenberg. And it says, looking for proof of male privilege in your daily life? Here are seven undeniable examples. Now, can you really uh, even accept an article written by a man about feminism? Sure. Absolutely. There are male feminists out there. And as yeah, a matter of fact, they're, they're, the worst, laid. they're the worst purveyors of this stuff. Well, um, I think that I, I think that I would be as a feminist, I would be a little like, you know what? Let's have the gals write these articles because that would be um, more yeah. effective. But uh, you know, maybe maybe the guys, uh, who knows what this guy's motivations are? It is not for me to say. But I, I can tell you this: as a starting point, I am going to consider this to be an important work of literature Mm. on the ideas of feminism. I don't have time or energy to read your 300 to 400 page tome on this idea. I am not interested. You need to, you need to draw me in uh, on these ideas. And so I'm going to take dude's article here as it was posted for us. Okay. Um, Like I need to know about male privilege. Presumably he's done his research, right? He wants to make himself into as good of a feminist as possible to He's on everydayfeminism.com and it's a recent article. That's yeah. all I need to know. Okay. Like everydayfeminism.com, probably populated by a bunch of gals who agree with this. There were lots and lots of likes on this. The page um, on Facebook has 300,000 likes. They are, mm. so therefore, six times as popular as Free Talk Live right. and eclipsing nearly every liberty-oriented Facebook page out there. Got These it. people are these people are relevant. They are timely, and people and follow them. They Got are it. the voice of, uh, to some extent, feminism today. Is so, it cynical of me to suggest that he's only doing it so he can get women? It's cynical, but that doesn't make it wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, we, he's doing it for some reason or another. They, they look, they feminists purvey a lot of like guilt, right? So like we have this phenomenon, I think it's society of white guilt, right? So you can't have a discussion about race as a white guy without your hands tied behind your back sort of, right? And so you've got these people who will go join rioters in Baltimore and uh, you know, screaming about Black Lives Matter and that sort of thing. I don't, I don't think it's all that different that there's a there's an agenda to uh, get people to turn on their own, if you will. 
So he um, here he acknowledges the it. limitations of his perspective. Far more um, insights and in, for more insights into trans, queer, gender, and non-binary perspectives. Not even sure what non-binary is exactly. It's part of my male privilege. Um, and I think non-binary would be outside of one yeah, or the other. I'm meaning, not male or female. Meaning I'm something between new. the two. I'm a whatever. unicorn. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Um, I figured that's what it was. Unicorns. Binary <laughs> means one or zero. So you're either something it, or indeed. the other. And so, you know, he's, he's acknowledging all this. So let me tell you a fascinating story. 30 minutes, minutes after waking up, I zipped to the school at which I teach and experienced a damn fine day of teaching. Upon my return home, I headed out for a run on an unseasonably warm March afternoon after a family dinner and uh, tagging out of the bedtime routine of our four-year-old. I walked into a uh, coffee shop where I finally started this article, an achievement I rewarded with a short dose of Netflix. What a f um, what's fascinating about this story is it has little to do with the less than scintillating ways I spend my time, but has everything to do with the staggering display of male privilege this story reveals. <laughs> the less than scintillating ways? Uh, scintillating? Uh, this is what happens when you learn a word through reading it as opposed to uh, okay. <laughs> having heard it. <laughs> scintillating. That's exactly right. So let me break it down, starting with the alarm clock. Remember... You pro now he's he's chronologically putting it in order, but if you're writing an article, ladies and gentlemen, put your best foot forward. Number one, I have the privilege of a short morning routine. Okay. Well, that's quite staggering. Right. You he can wash his hair, scrub his face, get in clothes, and get out the door in thirty to forty-five minutes, and that's his. That's part of it. That's number one in his list of seven undeniable truths These about male undeniable privilege. Undeniable truths. Well, it's undeniable. This that is what he calls many undeniable women. proof of male privilege. Uh, privilege. That's so the case that the guy's what, making. What is it that prevents a woman from throwing her hair back in a ponytail and walking out the door? Zero. Nothing. Nothing at all. Now, all right. there, there are people going to say that they feel uh, pressured, but my wife, uh, you know, I, I married a woman who now almost never wore makeup and didn't spend much time getting ready. And I think that's great. I, it's personally. awesome. Embrace your natural self. There's more coming up here. We'll get to all seven yeah. in moments. 855 450 free. Are you completely free of stress and fatigue? Well, of course not. You aren't alone, though. Now think about how nice it would be to begin relieving some of that stress and fatigue. Let me introduce you to a product that has and is working for me. It's called Youthful Greens. Youthful Greens. It's packed full of nature's nourishing, cleansing, and alkalizing greens, providing a powerful dose of whole food nutrition in each serving. Youthful Greens helps increase overall energy levels and reduce all that fatigue and stress on your body. And right now, when you visit freegreens.net or call 800-333-6923 and order your one-month supply of Youthful Greens for only $29.95, you get another month's supply for free. That's two months of Youthful Greens for the already low price of just $29.95, plus free shipping. That's saving you $45. Visit freegreens.net today or simply call 800-333-6923. And hey, you're welcome. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because 
I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Every day you make investment decisions. When you do business with and hold U.S. dollars, you make an investment in the soundness of the moral philosophy and the potential longevity of the United States hegemony. People who claim a monopoly on violence around the world. If this is the investment that you want to make, Please keep listening to LRN.FM. If not, stop using their currency. Use bitcoins. Get educated. We use coins.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at Facebook.LRN.FM. That's Facebook.LRN.FM. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here and share with us your thoughts on feminism. The uh, We are being presented with seven what are supposedly undeniable, uh, seven undeniable examples of male privilege. And I asked during the break if this is a satire piece, like, you know, <laughs> theonion.com. And you said, Mark, he— uh, I said go to their Facebook page and look at the simpering, whining, bedwetting uh, comments that surround this article. That's yeah. what I said. I went to their, uh, I went to their uh, Alexa rankings, and they are in the top 15,000 websites on planet Earth. Incredible. Well, I mean, The Onion's a popular website, too, so oh, I found myself that. wondering. I mean, the first example here that this guy gives of supposed undeniable male privilege is that he doesn't have a long bathroom routine to get out of the house in the morning. And apparently this is legit. I mean, I am on the site right now, everydayfeminism.com, and it does not appear uh, to be satire. Our toll-free number is 855-450 free. We're also you can call in about this or whatever happens to be on your mind. But I I want to inform you that uh, you've got just days remaining to get your order in for Mother's Day. But there's a bonus to hanging around a little late. Really? Yeah. Good things come to those who procrastinate <laughs> in this case, Mark. I I hate I hate to say that's the case. <laughs> well, for Free Talk Live listeners, you can get from Sherry's Berries giant freshly dipped strawberries starting at just 19.99. That's over 40% savings. Just go to berries.com and click on the microphone to type in code FTL and right now. Oh my god, Mark, this is huge. You can double the berries for just five dollars more. Normally, it's ten dollars more. I was going to say double the berries, and normally it's a no-brainer to double the berries on Sherry's berries, even at ten dollars more to double the berries. But now, because you waited, apparently you get it for five dollars off. Uh, you get that price again, the doubling for just five dollars more, which is an incredible deal, and it's available just to you if you use code FTL over at berries.com. These are delicious berries dipped in white milk and dark chocolatey goodness topped with chocolate chips, nuts, and decorative swizzle. They are awesome. You can't, you couldn't possibly disappoint with Sherry's Berries. It really is like the best quality strawberries dipped in some delicious chocolate. It's undeniable that there's male privilege and it's undeniable that there's mother privilege. And your mother has the privilege of getting Sherry's mm. Berries on Mother's Day. It's true. Open up the wallet let the moths fly out, and then go ahead and do your order at berries.com. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. Uh, you can go and get yours, B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. And at that price, there's really no reason not to you know, order one for your girlfriend or wife or yourself. Or someone you want to turn into a mother. <laughs> he thinks that's there hilarious. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, yeah, berries.com. Just click the microphone, type in FTL. You'll get the special deals. There's other things available besides the delicious berries, but uh, we love these things, man. They've uh, they've sent them to us, and 
I'm just, I always just get so excited when Sherry's Berries are on the way. But you're running out of time. This special deal, Mark, I believe this only works, is it just today? That's, I, but, well, it's, here. it's dated it today. It says 5, 6 only. $5 upgrade, uh, berries.com, use code FTL, and don't delay if you want to get this offer. I can't guarantee you it will be here after midnight tonight. It might be. I don't know if it's midnight Eastern, midnight Pacific, uh, midnight Greenwich Mean Time, but, and maybe it will be available tomorrow, but you probably should go right now and get it over at berries.com with code FTL. That's our copy you, for the day. What yeah, can I tell you? You won't, uh, you won't be making a mistake with this gift. So, uh, let's go to the phones and your thoughts, and then we'll continue the supposedly seven undeniable examples of male privilege. Dustin is in Washington. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Dustin. Hi, guys. Hey, you're on the air. Uh, I'd like to talk to, I'd like to talk today about what happened at a barter fair this weekend. Are okay. you guys familiar with anything called a barter fair? No. It I, sounds obvious from the name. Meaning, is there no cash yeah. allowed to exchange? Uh no, you can you can trade in paper if you like. That's what my friend says. Um, but I try to just barter the whole time if I can. Okay. So is it like a flea market, but bartering is encouraged? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, you just kind of bring whatever you want, and you can just trade there freely, you know? Cool. All right. So tell me about it. What happened? Um, so on Saturday, the second day of the festival, um, there were five jets that flew over the festival all at the same time, <clears throat> and they all started spraying trails at the same time right as they got right over top of the festival. <clears throat> a few of them actually turned and looped back, went, like, in circles around the festival. Mm -hmm. Are you talking like, like an air show? F F-18s that are doing, like, uh, a jet show or something? Similar, but they're really, really, really high up in the air where you can not really see the jets, but they're just spraying stuff, you know, like... Chemtrails. People talk about chemtrails, but oh, yeah. I'm just saying, like, what, what, like, no, there's no, there's no corporation that's going to send five of their commercial jets in circles around the festival, you know? Uh, you're right saying they're commercial jets, jets, meaning like cargo no, I'm planes? That they're not. They're definitely military, right? Or whatever, or drones, or whatever. But okay, there's, there's so no way that any chemtrails, as far as I'm concerned, are total bunk. Uh, yes, there are some examples of governments using like cloud seeding or spraying malathion down in Florida. There certainly are examples of of that happening. So I don't want to deny that that's possible you gatekeeper but, you're trying to keep everyone from the truth <laughs> but uh you know the super majority of the time really what you're seeing are contrails and of course that's uh vapor that is uh, up in the air based on you ice know, crystals atmospheric conditions and you know what's coming out of those uh, those engines crystallizing there's some really great websites out there that debunk uh the claims of the chemtrail advocates and uh, I'm sure what you were seeing there was likely some sort of practice session. There's probably a military well, base and somewhere nearby, and they were doing stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's possible. I'm just saying, like, I'm not too concerned about, like, the trails and stuff, more that there were those five jets going in circles around the festival. And then after they left, you know, they sent in, like, several fighter jets, and that flew really well over the festival. And, like, just I'm not sure if they're trying to scare people or what because it's, like, it you know, sounds like an air show. How long did it last no for? There, you know? How long did it go it was, on for? It was only a brief moment, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, But it's not like they were trying to entertain us. They weren't like spraying like blue trails or whatever. I don't think something. they were spraying anything. You know, it's likely contrails. You, I mean, there's no evidence they were yeah, spraying just, anything. Just, Are you sure there wasn't like a marriage proposal written in there or something? Or? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> just five straight lines and two planes that turned around and went back in the loop, you know? Well, Contrailscience.com is a great website for people to go and look at some of the uh, the excellent scientific debunking that explains, you know, real crystal clear what contrails are, why some of them look different, why they appear in some circumstances and don't appear in other circumstances. And, uh, you know, I really wouldn't worry about it, Dustin, but thanks for the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Whether he's worried about it because they're spraying, allegedly spraying something or just because it's military jets. Look, you know, military jets fly around in different places. Some places have military uh, you know, bases, and they take off and they practice and do things like that. It used so. to drive me nuts back in New York. I was working at this uh, ad agency, and my, my partner there, he we, we were right down the road from the airport. And, I mean, like, we'd go outside, and he'd be like, you, you see all this, man? They're, they're killing us. There's chemtrails oh, all over God. the place. And I'm like, we're by the airport, psychopath. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
Yeah, it just, none of the whole chemtrail thing makes sense at all. Um, there's so many ways to poke holes in this argument. Like, why would... Um, why would, Why the would people, people spray are, this stuff on if, their, their If you doubt families. it, people get so angry. I put yeah. clips up of us talking about this. They were mad. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole issue. And it used to be HARP before they shut it down. Oh, no. They didn't shut down HARP. I'm sure it's secretly operating in Alaska Well, of course. Still. They've got something better. 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. Yes, it's the alien death rays now, Mark. Have you ever felt like the United States government knows way too much about your financial affairs? I continue to hear stories about property seizures, frozen bank accounts, confiscation of stocks and bonds. It makes me wonder if the U.S. citizen will ever again have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Unfortunately, with the Drug and Money Laundering Act, the IRS Revenue Ruling 6045 of 1984, and the Trading with the Enemy Act and Franklin D. Roosevelt's Executive Order of 1933, some precious metal holdings are subject to government intervention. For this reason, and Midas Resources has prepared a report explaining the boundaries of trading precious metals privately. Whether if you have any intention of trading with Midas Resources or not, I have instructed my representatives to give this report out free. Call for your free copy at 1-800-686-2237. When investing, always proceed with caution. Again, call 1-800-686-2237. Exercise your legal right to trade metals privately. 1-800-686-2237. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $50 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $50 price only lasts through the end of June, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Cato University is the Cato Institute's premier educational event of the year. It's being held this year from July the 26th to the 31st at the Cato Institute's state-of-the-art headquarters in Washington, D.C. This annual program brings together outstanding faculty and participants from across the country and often from around the globe, with everyone sharing a commitment to liberty and learning. Cato University is a genuine community, and you can freely share viewpoints, concerns, ideas, questions, and more in an atmosphere of friendship and personal respect. It's a one-of-a-kind program for people who don't stop thinking after they got out of school. It's for people who don't want politicians or bureaucrats or officials to do their thinking for them. It's for people who value liberty. You'll learn. You'll be inspired. You'll make new friends. You'll meet great people from around the world. All of the details are spelled out at the Cato website, cato.org, and they hope to see you there this summer, July the 26th through the 31st in Washington, D.C. Again, details are at cato.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm.
back now with more Free Talk Live. Plenty of time for you if you want to dial in here to join us toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, you can join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features there. Get on the lines with us here, and we've got Skype as well. Skype username is lrn.fm. Bitcoin's... Uh Pretty pretty low price compared to what it's been in the relatively recent past. I think it might be a good time to pick them up. Um, I expect to be buying some Bitcoin in the near future, so I don't mind making a recommendation to you. The way to do it, go to ExpressCoin.com. They're the best choice for getting your cryptocurrencies, be them Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dashcoin, Dogecoin. They make it fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. They're a licensed money services business, so if you're in the U.S. or Canada, they're the place to go. Um, you can use a money order or a check, but start off at ExpressCoin.com. They have an app for your phone, and if you use coupon code FTL and you buy less than $40 worth of uh, the cryptocurrency of choice, you'll get it at no fee at all. ExpressCoin.com, coupon code FTL. All right, let's continue here. Uh, we'll come back here in a moment to the s supposed undeniable examples of male privilege. The first one was ridiculously laughable, <laughs> and uh, apparently the other six aren't so great either. But, Mark, you'll share that with us in a moment. First, let's go to your phone calls and thoughts. We've got Armed Truth calling from Southern California via Skype. Hello, Armed Truth. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, we're doing a radio show. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, I'm calling in just about this whole feminine, feminism issue. Um, okay. my, my wife is actually, uh, Irish. She's born in Ireland. She's lived here her whole life. Her family's all Irish. So we go back to, um, Ireland, Scotland a lot to see her family. And, uh, it was about three or two, three years ago. Um, I was back there and there's a really good article. Her whole family and I were talking about it. She has all sisters. Um, and it was about European feminists and how they don't want to be associated anymore with American feminists. Hmm. And that um, they believe that the American feminism movement uh, in the beginning was good, you know, it was for voting right, you know, equal rights, the voting and everything like that. But now it's moved on to basically man hating and that the European Feminist Association has distanced themselves from the American based on that the European feminists don't hate men as it's basically become with the SJWs here. And now um, SJW social, code word. Justice Warrior. social justice warriors. Code word. Is that something they actually call themselves? Well, they're they're they will spout on about social justice, and the yeah. warrior thing was sort of attached to them as a gotcha. snide sort okay. of thing. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, and I just uh, I thought it was interesting that um, you know basically, and it, I think it's kind of true in America. You know, women now are getting you know equal pay; they can vote. I don't look at them any differently. I think the general population doesn't, um, and just that in Europe now they don't even want to be associated they said they're they're trying to come up with a whole different name well what they are they trying to achieve in europe because i wouldn't think that women have too many problems in europe generally either i mean i i'm talking about i guess european women as opposed to immigrants to europe um there that might be more of an issue yeah and i think that that's part of it right there i don't know if you know every you know thing they're trying to do off the top of my head okay. i think it's basically the same thing they're trying to achieve here you know same pay you know, all that, I don't know exactly, no, but over there, they're pretty much content with it, you know, their rights are, they can vote, they can do all that, but they see over here is it's basically getting into something else that they basically hate men almost, you know, they want women to be on top, I guess, in a sense, and it's almost the, going the complete opposite direction of what they wanted. Instead of being equal, they want their whole own deal. Yeah, it's definitely gotten, and I don't, I can't say that I'm intimately familiar with the European feminist movement or anything like that. But over here, it has gotten, it's gotten pretty rabid, and it, and they're not, and it doesn't seem to me that there's even that much of an effort to disguise what it is. I mean, people will tell you, oh, it's about equality, but it's fundamentally not, and that just becomes so painfully obvious when you start looking. All at you have the, to do is take a look. <laughs> that when you start looking at the things that they're talking about, it's it really is not. I mean, they're talking about removing due process rights for uh, for uh, uh, rape accusations. Uh, the, the you know this thing about a gender pay gap that fundamentally disappears as soon as you begin to look into it. Uh, uh, we have Hillary Clinton at this Women of the World Summit talking about the pay gap and uh, and uh, paid leave for uh, maternity and all of these different things. It's sort of like forcing all of these economic policies down people's throats at the at the point of the government's guns. And that is not, you know, the government forcing people to do things for you is not equality. 
So without having a European feminist on the phones, all we are doing, all we're really able to do is speculate on this. And thank you for your call, Arm Truth. I appreciate it. I just did a quick Google search here: American versus European feminism, and here is an answer to a, a, a question about: Is there a difference? From Quora.com, Kimberly Klein in, um, let's see, is the answer here, uh, the person who responds. So she claims there is a difference between, uh, that there is like a sort of a versus between America versus Europe feminism. And she says that the civil rights movement in America has, for example, taken on a very different shape than it did in Europe. Europe has also not had the same rise in migrant women and feminists that America has had with the black feminist community. And this creates a different form of feminism, same as how the Second World War has shaped Europe differently. So an example is that Europe feminists have not been as concerned about inequalities between women uh, as it has predominantly been white, middle, and upper-class females who were the voice of feminism, whereas working class and foreign women have been completely marginalized. In Europe. In Europe. Got it. So that's just one answer. I don't know how valid that is, but it's probably a little better than sitting here speculating. It's probably complete nonsense on both sides yeah. of the pond. <laughs> Johnny B., you're on Free Talk Live, calling from Missouri. Go ahead. Hey, guys. Um, two, boy, I could launch on about three of your subjects. Pick you one. Uh, well, it was the chemtrail that got me to call, so I'll stick oh, with that, that vein. Um, I'd like to share a little testimony with you that I had in about 96 in central Missouri. Yeah. Uh, we were getting a lot of flights. That was when they was getting ready to push back into Iraq. They're just after 2000, and they were doing a lot of training flights. Hold on. This was 96 or just after 2000? Yeah, yeah 96. Okay. 90, between 94 and 96. All right. Uh, after Desert Storm and into Desert Desert Shield. Okay. So they were getting ready to push back into Iraq at this time? Because, I mean, I would have thought that yeah. this would have been, wouldn't have been on anybody's radar at all. <laughs> well, it, oh, it I see. Not. It's a conspiracy there, too. Gotcha. Go ahead. But uh, they were doing a lot of A-10 flights running the Missouri River. Okay. Boonville. And uh, a few, few of the old uh, uh, Phantom Jets. From Vietnam. The F-4s, yep. You know, you know, yeah, the F-4, that's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure. Yep. But anyway, I got to notice, and I'd, I would go to work real early in the morning, like 4 o'clock, and we'd take our first break about 9 or so, and we'd go out on the patio, and they would be spraying your contrails. And you don't spray contrails, lunch, but go ahead. <laughs> well, yeah, when we go appear. out to lunch, those contrails would have spread out and completely overcast the sky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. They can do that. That's right. Well, uh, after about a week or so of that, you know, trying to get people to even look up and notice what was going on. You know, watch this. Let's go to break here. Watch this now. We'll come You've out. Gotta be really bored to sit and watch contrails. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, it's just above watching paint. He's dry. just talking about going on break yeah, and checking yeah. in on them. But basically, what you're saying is, you 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 called in here to tell us a story of you watching, you know, basically clouds, clouds in the sky. Right? Yeah. That's what you called a radio well, show to tell us. Actually, it wasn't the clouds in the sky. I understand that you're calling them chemtrails, right? But, like, what's the point here? Get to it. All right. The As the overcast built up, they would develop perfectly circular holes in the oh. overcast right over our facility. Thank you very much okay. for the call, sir. It's really paranoid. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Uh, I imagine there's science uh, as an explanation for that. I don't know what it is. Probably some sort of heat or something like that. Uh, building up, me melting what is essentially iced condensation. Here's a little bit of science for you from contrailscience.com. Great website. By the way, it hasn't been updated in three or four years. because you don't clouds need to haven't update. changed in right. three or four years. Right. There's no new information that is available to put on this website because they've completely debunked chemtrails and it's a complete website. It's done. <laughs> like under like most websites, you got to keep adding stuff to keep people coming back. No, they really don't have anything to add here because they, they nail it. So let's talk a little bit about what contrails are. They don't spray contrails. Okay, so that's, you know, point number one that guy was wrong about. 855-450 free. And if you know what these circle things he was talking about, please call in no, and don't. Uh, share, uh, share with us on that. It's Free Talk Live. <laughs> this is Shaquille O'Neal. And the Shaquettes. Reminding you that anytime, anytime is a good time. Good time. For the cooling, drying, fresh scent of gold bond powder spray. Like after the gym. Or a crowded elevator ride. 
or golf. Or working with farm animals. Or a hard day's work. Like sports casting? You said it, ladies. Stay cool with Gold Bond Powder Spray. Stay cool with Gold Bond. <laughs> Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS, 1-800-425-4610, or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Wall & Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Wall & Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall & Associates, 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary, not a solicitation for legal services. There are two types of advertising. Poll advertising, like Google AdWords, where a consumer goes looking for widgets near them and you try to pull them in with your ad away from the other widget purveyors. Then there's push advertising, where you push your message out about your great widgets and attempt to convince people who weren't thinking about widgets at all that what they need in their life right now is your widget. Radio is push advertising. In the course of a week, there are probably over a quarter million good folks listening to Free Talk Live, and they could hear your message. We we're having a sale right now, and it ends May 15th. 200 30-second ads for $1,997. That's like 10 bucks an ad. Find another show with that kind of rate with 150-plus stations. Email me, Mark Edge at Mark at freetalklive.com, and I'll set you up. You don't need to have an ad. We'll produce it for you. Buy 200 30-second ads by May 15th and get them for less than $10 a piece. It's a big savings, and you don't want to miss it. Email me, Mark, at freetalklive.com. Now, here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine freedom scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read chapter one at survivormax.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. We talk live. You may join us here toll free at 855 450 free. And you really can bring up anything. And this uh, particular show is proof of that claim that we really are an open phones radio program <laughs> and that even though we came in here with uh, you know stuff we consider to be important to talk about, you can call in and bring up things that you consider important even if we think it's a joke. Uh, ridiculous paranoid conspiracy theory. Like the government spraying uh, chemtrails over a barter fair. Yeah, and then further another chemtrail caller after that. Cause we could be wrong. I mean, if we're to... wrong, this is a terrible thing that we're wrong about, right? So... 
I, you know, like I would like to know, but I just see no evidence. Yeah. Well, the thing I, is, I haven't as, seen one picture. No. Pictures aren't evidence of uh, chemtrails. As you said before, Mark, I mean, it's not crazy to think that the government would spray stuff on people. They right? have. Like, this has they already have happened. sprayed yeah. stuff on people. But <laughs> the whole thing of like there are lines in the sky and thus massive depopulation program does not follow a certain line of logic where I expect. Well, the the conspiracy theory varies, right? So there's different theories, Chris, as I understand. Now, we've had these chemtrail kooks calling the show for a decade now. You're always so cool. <laughs> and, uh, Anybody can just believe something, you know. Yeah. I mean, I've got but friends used to, that believe used to this be stuff. if you like to take pictures of the sky, you were a photographer and that was your hobby and you could take pretty pictures and now people think that uh, you know, their their hobby is determining whether chemtrails are in the sky as though somehow Cloud watching taking a picture uh, of a uh, contrail is any evidence whatsoever of that. Um Anyway, I don't know where the hell I was going with that. I'm just so frustrated with, oh, the three different, or the, there's, I don't know if it's three, but there's a few different reasons, right? There's so, the depopulation thing, there's, there's mind the, the control. climate change and, and, and mind control. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, there's, you know, the chemtrail conspiracy. You can't even get it right. Like, let me know what it is. Maybe it's all of the above. I mean, the chemtrail conspiracy theorists, you know, they don't agree. Well, mind control is already taken up by the fluoride. What the hell's the government got to spray stuff in from the sky for? Well, they got to get you from different ways, Mark. Maybe well, not everybody is. gets, you know, city water with fluoride in it. Some of us have wells. You got to get everybody. I, yeah, mean, I can you tell get... you, you know, out where I live and nobody has city water, they're still all doe-eyed dopes that uh, believe everything the government says. There's just as many people who are voting Republican and Democrat out well, where I live. Well, the chemtrail advocate would say that's evidence for chemtrails. Which, of course, is that is ev- not, evidence. not evidence at all. <laughs> if somebody says it's that, not they, how not, evidence works. <laughs> they don't right. know what evidence means. Right. So, yeah, I mean, that is essentially what we're talking about here. People who don't really understand uh, science. And I don't claim to be a scientist, but I do have the ability to Google and I have the ability to read, and uh, I can go and read ContrailScience.com anytime and get all kinds of useful information like this. Okay, so ca- on contrails are condensation, but not like your breath. This is one of a myriad of articles here, okay? So if you want to learn about why the contrails spread sometimes versus not spread times, our, our last caller was concerned because they were spreading out. Uh, and they, other callers call in and say that it's a chemtrail because it's not spreading out. Yeah. So they, uh, you know, again, they de- they debunk all of this in a, a myriad of different articles. So here's one of them. The trails that aircraft leave in the sky are called contrails, which is short for condensation trails. They're formed by the condensation of the water vapor that, that comes from the aircraft's exhaust. When you breathe out on a cold day, you can see a little cloud of condensation coming from your breath. This is the uh, same kind of thing. Your damp, warm lungs add moisture to the air, and when you breathe out, you get condensation. But the condensation from your breath quickly evaporates, uh, usually in less than a second. Condensation trails from a jet can last for many minutes, well, even hours Most sometimes. of the time, they, they disappear too, but um, they, they can turn into clouds. So why is there this difference? Why do contrails sometimes persist? Uh, sometimes for hours and hours, but your breath condensation quickly evaporates. Well, the difference is because the contrail <laughs> freezes. It's really that simple. Contrails form at negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is also negative 40 Celsius, or colder. <laughs> I almost had him on that. I was ready to go. <laughs> at that temperature, the tiny drops of condensated water will instantly freeze. Once frozen, they cannot evaporate. They can also, or excuse me, they also can't melt. Uh, as it's negative 40. They, however, can fade away through a process known as sublimation, where a solid turns into a gas. You've seen sublimation before. Dry ice is frozen carbon uh, dioxide. It does not melt. It just sublimes directly into gas. If you take a bit of dry ice and just leave it in the sun, it will just kind of fade away. That's what happens to the ice in a contrail. Ice will only sublime if the humidity at that altitude is around 60 to 70 percent. So it's a bit higher than the contrail can last for a long time, just like clouds do. Oh, excuse me. So if it's a bit higher, then the contrail can last for a long time, just like clouds do sometimes. If the humidity is low, then the sublimation happens very fast, and that contrail will only last for a minute or so. If the humidity is high, above 70 percent, then you get reverse sublimation, uh, so, and that's uh, also called desublimation or deposition, where water vapor turns directly to ice, but only when in contact with ice. And even more ice will form on the frozen condensation if ice crystals will get bigger and sink faster, causing the trail to spread out as it sinks through altitudes with different wind speeds. But how do you know... 
um, that Donald Rumsfeld and the other reptilians didn't write this blog <laughs> is really the question here. I mean, we don't fundamentally have that information as to whether or not this was actually like a plot by the Bush administration to put disinformation out there in order to bring about the uh, the New World Order and the Illuminati. Well, like we said, we do know that the government has sprayed crap from the sky. Um, we have seen that in the past. It's yep. just that... You know, there's evidence for it because they'll right. send you a notice in the mail that well, says we're going to spray th melathion. Also, from there's the sky. crap all over things too when it's all <laughs> said and done with. <laughs> you know, what I'd like to see is you know something that amounts to evidence. Yeah, I think that go the governments have sprayed stuff um, with the intention of seeing uh, whether or not they can. I really do something don't want to hear the evidence, honestly. Global I don't warming at this point, but yeah, you're right. If we we're going to hear something, it would be nice to have some sort of evidence. But, uh, I anyway. saw a contrail while I was at the flea market. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's what I heard. Contrail. Okay, so the difference can be summed up as this. A contrail is condensation plus freezing plus sublimation, whereas your breath in the wintertime is condensation plus evaporation. This really isn't a property of your breath, though. It's a property of temperature. If you breathe out at negative 40 degrees or colder, then your breath will also freeze, and it will not evaporate. Right, but my breath does not have aluminum and barium in it. <laughs> Instead of a little cloud that quickly evaporates, your breath at negative 40 will look like smoke. Like these guys in Siberia at negative 52 Celsius, you can't tell the difference between their breath and cigarette smoke. And then they include a video with people breathing in less than 40 degrees Celsius, which I haven't watched yet, but I imagine it's fairly If you're in less than 40 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, um, you should go inside. Yeah, no doubt about that. So there's a little bit of information about how, some of how uh, condensation, uh, you know, in the sky works. It's a kind of a tricky process. There's different factors in play. If you have too much humidity, different things happen. If there's too little humidity, something completely different happens. And if you're within the right range, then you'll see a different, uh, you know, result. So it's the frustrating reality of science. Yeah, that uh, that sky up there. There's a lot going on, and that results in differing versions of what happens after a jet. Uh, passes by. Uh, I mean, I feel like we're in basic science class here whenever these chemtrail callers call in. Maybe, and look, I wasn't really the best in school. Uh, I didn't pay close attention in science class, but I just, you know, I find this ridiculous, this whole conspiracy theory. Well, the, the, the thing about it is, and I've never even looked at this website or tried to figure this thing out, it's just, like, I think that there's a certain logical process that you should be able to follow before you find out if a thing is even worth investigating, mm -hmm. right? So I've got a certain amount of rational ignorance on the whole chemtrail thing. I watched the What in the World Are They Spraying, the G. Edward Griffin movie. Everybody told me I just had to see this oh, thing God. so I could find out about this horrific thing that was being done to us. And I and I looked at and I watched this video and I'm like, there's nothing being explained here other than there's you know lines in the sky and these guys are taking soil samples. There's this huge disconnect, <laughs> right? There's this huge disconnect between the two conclusions. You know that one thing is attached to the other. I'm like, there's no connection here. Yeah, this is completely does ridiculous. Not follow. And so when people are calling into a radio show and they're saying, well, if you don't believe in chemtrails, let me just tell you, I went out to work and on my lunch break, I saw lines in the sky and then they were there later on. And I'm like, this does not, case closed. Yeah, this does not make the case <laughs> for the thing that you're trying to pitch to me here. And thus, I'm not even going to bother to Google search this yeah. nonsense. Share your thoughts with us here, but preferably not on chemtrails. 855-450 free. We've got feminism to continue and with Speaking here. of conspiracy theories... <laughs> and uh, so we were talking about, Mark, an article you have, the seven undeniable, he yes. claims, examples of supposed male privilege. It's as undeniable as chemtrails. <laughs> and the first one was that he has a shorter, significantly shorter uh, morning routine. Yeah, this guy who's a feminist. Did uh, you finish the actual statement that he wrote? I don't know if we uh, we just started deriding it right away without. He has a long explanation about how, in contrast, many women must meticulously ready themselves for the they day. They do not have to meticulously right. ready themselves. They, they are they making don't. a choice to do that. And I'll tell you what, there's a really interesting video on YouTube if you watch uh, uh, Molyneux, uh, the truth about makeup. Okay, and I hate makeup. I don't like it at all. Unless well, it's for costumes. It has its ups and downs, but makeup is really a, a thing that women are putting on to trick men, really, like mm -hmm. at like a, a subconscious level, right? That like um, uh, like red lipstick is designed to make you think that she's having a, a like a sexual response to you. These are things to uh, uh. simulate sexual arousal. Let's and talk about it more here in a moment. Now there's a conspiracy theory. Four fifty free. It's free talk a lot. 
In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, May 6th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.54 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,195 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $237. Antiwar.com reports, as expected, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell from Kentucky has cut off debate on the compromise bill aimed at giving Congress the power to veto a P5 plus 1 nuclear agreement with Iran. Senator McConnell's move cuts off debate on further amendments to the bill, which have predominantly aimed to add more onerous restrictions to a nuclear deal that would almost certainly kill the talks outright. This was a contentious subject among Senate hawks, as some wanted the harsher language in the bill, while others believed to put the veto-proof majority of the compromise bill at risk and might have prevented Congress from blocking the Iran deal in the future. The test vote for the bill is Thursday and aims for a 60-vote majority, which would formally cut off the possibility of getting further amendments into the bill. Hawkish Senators Tom Cotton from Arkansas and Marco Rubio from Florida have blasted the move. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numeracy supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the FANS program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S.fppradio.com. Radio.com. UPI reports the Obama administration on Tuesday approved companies to provide ferry services between the United States and Cuba. The U.S. Treasury and Commerce Department issued two licenses to operate between the two countries, according to the Sun Sentinel in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Those companies are Havana Ferry Partners of Fort Lauderdale, Baja Ferries of Miami, United Caribbean Lines Florida of Greater Orlando, and Airline Brokers Company of Miami and Fort Lauderdale. One Puerto Rican-based company, American Cruise Ferries, told CNN it has 
also been granted a license. Cuba must also grant the company's approval in order for the service to proceed. Havana Ferries managing partner Leonard Mocklin Sr. told the Sun Sentinel, I'm very excited because this is a historical event in U.S.-Cuba relations. Traveling by ferry between the two countries is expected to be a cheaper option than flying and travelers could transport larger amounts of luggage. James D. Weinsand, an attorney for American Cruise Ferries, told CNN, this is a significant opportunity to advance U.S.-Cuba relations. The news came on the same day that New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced JetBlue Airways, partnered with Cuba Travel Services, would offer direct flights from New York City to Havana, Cuba, starting July 3rd. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports ride-hailing service Uber on Tuesday said it ceased operations in Kansas after the state legislature decided to override Governor Sam Brownback's veto of a bill that would impose stricter regulations on ride-hailing services. Uber said the bill makes it impossible for it to operate in the state. The Kansas Senate on Tuesday voted 96 to 25 to override Brownback's veto of the Kansas Transportation Network Company Services Act. The bill requires companies to certify that drivers have comprehensive and collision insurance and requires new drivers to undergo background checks performed by the Kansas Bureau of Investigation. Uber says it already conducts its own third-party background checks and provides commercial auto insurance coverage. The company has been fighting with cities across the United States, contending that it is not a taxi service and should not be required to adhere to existing taxi regulations. Uber said in March it would halt operations in Anchorage, Alaska until the city can work out details enabling the company's drivers to accept paying fares. In Oregon, the city of Eugene sued Uber in March, asking the court to stop Uber from operating until it meets what the city calls minimum safety requirements. Uber in February said it would suspend operations in Boise, Idaho after reaching an impasse in negotiations with city leaders over new regulations. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. It's the Onion Radio News. Starbucks begins its sinister phase two of operation. This is Doyle Redland reporting. After a decade of aggressive expansion throughout North America and abroad, Starbucks suddenly and unexpectedly closed its 56,423 worldwide locations today to prepare for what insiders call phase two of the company's long-range plan. Cynthia Valcamp, Starbucks head of marketing, made this brief statement at a press conference earlier today. We have enjoyed furnishing you with coffee-related beverages and are excited about the important role you play in our future plans. Existing Starbucks franchises across the nation have been shuttered with high-strength titanium, and the well-known Starbucks logo has been slightly altered to present the familiar mermaid figure as a cyclopean mermaid whose all-seeing eye forms the apex of a world-spanning pyramid. Royal Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program. Plenty of time for you if you want to call in now. Join us here toll free at 855-450-FREE. With you in studio, it's Ian here. Cantwell and Mark. Don't forget to join Chris on his website, ChristopherCantwell.com. Recently, uh, you did some rebranding. You're launching a brand new radio show, or you have already launched your new show. What's yep. it called? It's called Radical Agenda. It was, uh, if you're familiar, I used to do a thing called Some Garbage Podcast, mm-hmm. and that was some fun self-deprecating humor that we were doing. But I, uh, I have relaunched it as Radical Agenda. You've taken out the trash. I'm taking out the trash. We've had a little less garbage each time. I'd yeah. like to say, and now uh, Radical Agenda is the name of it, and we're having a lot of fun. With I did that. a little consulting for you uh, the other day and uh, helped to tweak the studio settings a bit. And I have uh, I have listener feedback as a result of that, and they Better? were yeah much much Good. improved. So thank you very much for your help with Go that. Go and get some Radical Agenda over at ChristopherCantwell.com. Or RadicalAgenda.com. Or, you oh, know, you've got its own site. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
So, but yeah, ChristopherCantwell.com will link to all of that is of Christopher course, yeah. Cantwell. And uh, you also write some great articles, uh, many of which are controversial. And so go over there and uh, enjoy more, Chris. Yeah, I popped off with Stefan Molyneux today, so go check that out. Yeah, well, I want to talk more about this makeup thing here in a moment. Plus, get back into the seven supposedly undeniable examples of male privilege, which we only started the list last hour and only got through one out of seven. Uh, so we'll, we'll continue that. But first, to your calls and thoughts uh, Ron is listening in Raleigh, North Carolina, to Talk Radio 850. Hey, Ron. Hey, uh, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm glad you stopped talking about calm trails. Holy cow, man. Anyhow, uh, I got a— It's an open um, phone show, man. We do what we can. I know. Uh, anyhow, um, I wanted to talk to you about uh, um, something going on here in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's a story that's been all over the news down here, and I think it's finally getting some legs and going national. But um, I know you, you talk about cops and— you know, uh, dangers of the job. And uh, this is a hidden danger that uh, I don't think a lot of people think about. But anyways, this uh, poor cop went down to Starbucks and he got himself a free coffee. And uh, then the, I guess he got back into his squad car and the lid popped off and he burned himself. Oh. And uh, It's like a cop yeah. trap. <laughs> anyways, th- th- he's suing them. He's suing Starbucks. Um, For a free coffee. Not- well, yeah, I guess... Um, it's unbelievable. Uh, his wife is involved in the lawsuit because I guess he, you know, burned his um, billy club or something. So she's got a most. <laughs> she's out. Yeah. And then uh, somehow or another, I don't know how this happened, but it turned into something that flared up as Crohn's disease. And you now, I mean, jeez, oh, you know. Yeah, I, I, there was so, many years ago we heard this story about somebody like sued McDonald's for spilling a hot coffee on them, and and this right. was the subject of so much ridicule in stand-up comedy routines. And now we've got a police officer pulling this stunt in 2015. Yeah, big tough cop, right? Like these guys are so tough and so badass, can't even take a little coffee burn. I can't figure out how his Crohn's disease got triggered. Maybe he was doing a coffee enema or something. Anyway. Well, you know, the, the other thing is, so this, and, and you mentioned, I think, that the, uh, the the wife is suing that she lost an intimate partner as a result of this. And this is one of these, like, really classic things. This actually happened to me that somebody made this claim against me in a lawsuit. So I was in a car accident back in the um, late 90s or early 2000s. And... Um, the, the, the woman who it was, it was my fault, right? Like I, mm-hmm. I did, I rear ended somebody at a red light I was arguing with my girlfriend. I hit somebody. Okay. So she gets out of the car and she's furious with me and, and she's, uh, she's all animated outside of the car when the, when the ambulance gets there, she's all like, Oh, my neck, I can't move. Right. Mm, nice. And then she comes in with this like neck brace and it has this whole thing during this lawsuit and, and, the and the partner's suing me because uh, his wife won't have sex with him now. Right. Mm. But it's a fundamentally unprovable claim that you're just sort of hoping to like extort more money out of the insurance company or something right. like that. Um, and that <laughs> is the most telling part of this. And we're not surprised to find out that there's a, a lying, cheating, uh, stealing cop. Well, it got me thinking, man. You know, uh, there's this place around, I don't know if you got them up there, but it's Harbor Freight, and they have yeah. promotions. They give away little free tools and whatnot. And I got one of their free screwdrivers, and the other day I was trying to open up an old paint can, and, you know, the darn uh, screwdriver slipped, and it poked me in the hand, you know? And I'm afraid to go fishing now because I might get infected, and, my, you know, my girlfriend's getting mad because I'm getting grumpy because I can't go fishing. So Time for a I lawsuit. Just, yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. I, you know. Yeah, I share the frustration, and this is, you know, part of this legit litigious society in which we live, where it seems like everybody's looking for a reason to be offended, so they can have a reason to file a lawsuit, so they can cash in. It's like, uh, it's like gambling almost, because uh, you throw up enough lawsuits up against the wall, and one of them's probably eventually going to stick on somebody. And lawsuits are expensive. People will just pay you to leave them alone. Well, maybe Starbucks will learn their lesson and stop giving free coffee to these cops. Thanks for the call tonight, Ron. I appreciate you bringing that forward. This isn't about free coffee, though. That He could have paid for the coffee. I and the, know the... that. But maybe if they hadn't have given him the free coffee, he wouldn't have gone there. Maybe it never would have happened. Maybe. 855 450 free. And it's frustrating to see the police getting freebies like that. I, you see it in a lot of places, in um, you know, a lot of places. The police expect that they can just go into fast food uh, joints and get all the food that they want totally free. And in most places, it's true. Well, I was actually interested. You might want a police officer in your business in order to deter crime. It's like free security yeah. work. 
I understand what you're saying, Mark. Um, however, it's really just a perk for the the officers. You know, they're it's not only really there. that. I mean, it's it's a perk. That's exactly what yeah, it is. It is for the officer, yeah. but for the business, it's a perk too. It's worth uh, it for no, a cup of not. coffee. They could arrest your customers. They could harass your customers, and that you would definitely not want happening. So I would personally prefer police not be coming in uh, to my business, and I would just allow customers to protect themselves by open carrying, as well as the crew members uh, to protect themselves by you know open or concealed carrying uh, their choice. Now, I was actually really pleased to find out, and I don't know, I presume this is still the, uh, the policy here, but you might, this might surprise you a little bit, Chris, that uh, when I first moved here to Keene, New Hampshire, I went on a police ride-along, which they no longer make available. It was after— People like you might use it. Yeah, after we went on our ride-along, they changed their policy about that. Uh, but in the ride-along, we had a discussion, and one of the, the things I learned was— that the there's actually a policy at Keene Police Department where they cannot accept uh, these bennies like that. Nice. So if they're if police go to McDonald's and McDonald's says, "Hey, officer, that's that's on the that's on the house for you guys." Right. Uh, they they insist on paying for the tab because they don't want to be seen as though they are getting special favors. Uh, because they're police. And I have to say, when I heard about that, I was surprised, because that never would have happened in Florida. Well, there was, uh, I don't know if they actually passed it or if, if it's policy today. I remember they were trying to pass a policy like that in New York City some number of years ago, because people <laughs> were, were giving cops stuff all the time. And you know. the cops came out against it, I would imagine, right? I believe that there was there was a good amount of debate on it, and I mm. don't know, again, I don't know what the uh, the outcome of it was. Anyway, but. it was just refreshing. It was nice to see that being the case, where like these guys were like, nope, nope, we won't accept that. So... Not all police departments are created equal, although, you know, obviously they're all still government monopolies and have their issues. So let's get back into the initial story uh, from tonight, Mark. You, uh, We were talking about makeup as the first reason, apparently, the undeniable reason, uh, according to the person over this feminist blog, as to why there are these male privilege, uh, these male privileges. And one of them is a supposed short morning routine. He says women must that they have to uh, go through this lengthy morning routine. And I'm sorry, I totally disagree. I like the idea of a woman who is so confident in herself that she's able to just throw her hair back in a ponytail and walk out uh, in the morning rather than you know spending a half an hour in front of a mirror trying to put the makeup on and make sure everything looks real pretty. And uh, Chris, you were getting into an example of what uh, like makeup. There's like some sort of story you had about uh, makeup. Yeah, well, Molyneux has a has a video up on uh, YouTube. I'd suggest people watch called "The Truth About Makeup," where he goes into a lot of these different things, like what the purpose of it is. I've got uh, I had Psychology Today up, but it didn't well, say. Well, the purpose is obvious. It's to attract a man, right? Well, but so like a it's, um, it's to or a mate. It's, it's to be happy, whatever it is. And uh, you know, sometimes it's the ladies are dressing up for the ladies but, too. But they are mimicking specific things right so like a, a red lipstick is supposed to like mimic um, uh, fertility or uh, sexual arousal right they're they're tricking you into the thinking that rushing. you're having yes blood is rushing to her lips because she's sexually attracted to you mm -hmm. right so these things were designed really to be uh to to really trick men into believing that they're getting a sexual response from a woman there's uh so like a foundation right so what they're doing is they're sort of covering up their real skin and trying right. to make it look like they have better skin than they do which is a sign of good genes and fertility and whatnot mm -hmm. right um eye makeup they we're trying to make they're trying to make their eyes look like bigger which is a sign of like youth and that sort of thing and that youth and fertility sort of go hand in hand in sure. women so there's a complaining about what you're doing to trick men into liking you is sort of something that I don't know if that's the worst of privileges. Yeah, let's hear from you, though. You're welcome to share your thoughts. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. Ooh, get the stinky dog away from me. PD stopped eating. All his hair fell out. Mounds and mounds of fur. Our hairballs have hairballs. Bad breath and bad gas. Chew himself raw. Sticky, gooey, smelly. She scratched incessantly. At least $5,000 in vet bill. And all it took was one container of Dynavite. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859-428-1000. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. Adding Dynavite to their diet has 
every single dog in my kennel looking better than they have ever looked. The shedding has stopped and the itching has stopped. Tons of energy, no more bad smell. She has gotten this puppy look, her coat has sheen. Everything we tried failed except the Dynavite. My vet was completely blown away. Dynavite's the bomb. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E oh. dot com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. This is the Onion Week in Review. Sources are confirming your dog died earlier today, and we're all really sorry you had to find out about it like this, buddy. Though it's a lousy thing to have to learn from an online web video, and even shittier to hear from a cold, hardened newsman's voice that you can't put a face to, your pet passed away in his sleep while you went out today, and we understand how shocked you must be right now. Sources added that there are many local shelters with animals in need of a good home, though we understand that no dog can ever truly replace the one you just lost. I lost a dog once, but my mom was the one who told me about it, and she was quite the comfort. In this week's op-ed pages, Pantene CEO Marcus Russo laments feeling like the only one who gives a shit about rich, lustrous hair. In other news, a study finds that newborn infants can tell if their parents are losers. A man who just assembled a desk is unsure how he has every screw left over. And Jeff Beck is lured into a dark alley with the old guitar pick on a string trick. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross may be spending the rest of his life in prison. His family is planning to appeal his conviction, but they need your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Ross needs your help now more than ever. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Join us here toll-free on the radio waves. We're talking about privilege, male privilege, ostensible examples uh, that are supposedly undeniable of so-called male privilege. We've just scratched the surface of the list, and we will continue uh, with that here in a moment. Our toll-free number, if you want to join the discussion, is 855-450-FREE. And you can bring up anything you want. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well at Skype username lrn.fm. So there's an app that I've got on my phone, which uh, it's pretty unusual. I've never heard of anything like Next Issue before. And it's sort of like the Netflix for magazines. They give you access to all of the latest news. 150, more than 150 magazines for uh, are available to you for less than the cost of two magazines if you were to go buy them actually at the newsstand. Mm -hmm. You get the full magazines, all of the content, Organized in an easy to access table of content style, because obviously, you know, you don't have the physical thing, you've got it on your phone. 
and that makes it easy to deliver these things. You can uh, give it a try for three uh, for free for 30 days. There's no commitments. You can cancel anytime. It's all of your favorite magazines anytime, anywhere. And of course, you can eliminate the clutter that you know. If you actually have physical magazines, usually people just pile those things up. You stack them up in a corner or something like that. A lot of times with a magazine, you know, it's it's shiny, it's nice, it, it doesn't feel like something you should be throwing away, you know? But when have you ever gone back and actually looked at it? Not very old, often. Old magazine. Uh, so you can go and get over 150 magazines from ESPN to, uh, to Men's Health, Esquire, Car and Driver, Maxim. I was just looking at the latest issue of Consumer Reports because when you get next issue installed, you just you can just roll through all 150 some magazines and just select the ones that look interesting to you, uh, and then you can read as much as you like and wherever you want. Whether you've got an iPad, iPhone, Android tablet, or a smartphone, uh, the software will probably work on your phone. But you can go and download it and try it yourself. And go to nextissue.com/ftl to get signed up today for your free trial. It's a $15 savings. Plans start as low as $9.99. And one account can be shared with up to five people. So that's pretty handy. Nextissue.com slash FTL. Go get started with your free trial. You can binge read all of your favorite magazines in one place. And the uh, the, the story, by the way, that I was looking at in uh, Consumer Reports is all about these connected devices, the mm-hmm. smart televisions, the connected thermostat, a smart washing machine, and how they're this is tra- the Internet of Things, right? And how they're tracking our daily habits. And it's interesting because it starts out with an example of this guy who, uh, he's like a, a science guy. He put together in a few hours seventy five dollars seventy five dollars worth of parts and built a scanner that he was able to use to pick up activity from runners that were in a, a like a marathon. And he managed to collect personal information from 563 racers, including their names, addresses, and passwords, as well as the unique IDs of the devices that they were carrying. Wow. Yeah, this guy put $75 in a couple hours into building a machine that was able to do that uh, from people, you know, garner that information. So that's how the article starts and it gets into more detail about the household appliances and, you know, what kind of information are they collecting? What should you look out for? Good stuff. And that's just one magazine. So go try it for yourself. Nextissue.com slash FTL. Go get your free trial rolling right now. Uh, As we continue here, we've been talking about the tyranny of uh, the male privilege here, the seven supposed undeniable examples of this. And the first one, Mark, as you were sharing with us, is that they, uh, you know, men have an easy morning routine. They just get up, roll out of bed, throw on some clothes, and head out the door, which pretty much describes my morning routine. Uh, Except you don't head out the door. No, actually, I was out the door uh, all three mornings this morning. Okay. Mark. Generally, you just went go to, downstairs uh, and go to work. Went to court uh, so I could do some outreach on both Monday and Tuesday, and then this morning uh, went to uh, breakfast. So anyway, um, yeah, and I just roll out the door, which is which is nice. But there's no reason why a woman can't do the same thing. It's just that maybe they feel pressured by, oh, I don't know, other women perhaps into uh, putting up a bunch of makeup on and spending a bunch of time on their hair so they can compete with those other women. This is what I've said about man. feminism all along. Is, is if you've got if you believe in the ideas of feminism, the last people you should be talking to are men. Because they hold no sway. This is truly what I believe. I believe that in modern, in the modern culture, that the male is a vestigial gender. That we really hold no value. Um, that essentially we have been replaced by, you don't need to be strong uh, or whatever in this culture. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, frankly, if you look around the internet, people that, that think aren't that valuable. Like it, it's, it's the mo- emotional nurturing thing that's so much it's about how people feel i frankly think that uh, you know males we we were necessary necessary to build tall buildings and to uh, you know perhaps fight wars and all those things but you know wars not not so great tall buildings they can use machines to do that now i mean we live in a in a fundamentally gynocentric society right i mean i i don't think that people give this enough credit that We are fundamentally driven by our mating instincts, I think, a lot more than most people give their reproductive organs credit for, if you will, right? I I feel like a lot of the things that I'm doing, even when I'm not aware of it, and then I realize when I sort of study my own behavior, like we're doing things in order to get women, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, a lot of the male drive to succeed 
financially and everything else, right? I mean, it's, it's. I'd still be living at mom's house if it wasn't for the <laughs> fact that I. I mean, this is the God's honest truth. What reason did I have to leave my mother's house if it wasn't to have a place w- at which I could procreate? Uh, I had reasons to leave, but it, it wasn't that. that yeah, you wanted privacy and stuff like that. I, you know, things were fine for me. Yeah, well, you must have been a mama's boy or something. I don't know what that means. <laughs> But it, this is what it is. I mean, we're 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 going out of our way to sort of make women happy. I mean, in in my uh, in my own life, I mean, I'll I'll talk a lot of crap about feminism and that sort of thing on the internet. And when we do that, then I'll start talking about women. And sometimes people perceive that as like having negative feelings towards women. But no, you love when, women. Right? When I mean, women are in in my life, they're treated extraordinarily well. You know, I yeah. go I really go out of my way with uh, with with the women that I date and that sort of thing. And I've seen and, it happen. I, you're not BSing. Right. And so. Uh, this this idea that men are oppressing women is so fundamentally ridiculous because we're, we're really in no small part like living to serve them. It's 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 ridiculous. Well, well it, you're serving you're living to serve the family unit in many ways. I mean, that's how society's created, and the family unit, like the woman, is essentially the possessor of the child, uh, as, as far as the legal system goes. And really, if you kind of look at it, just kind of nature, right? Like she receives. Uh, sperm, you give it away, mm-hmm. and right. That's, I mean, so yeah, if I'm, you're, I'm throwing holocausts into towels and garbage cans every day, <laughs> and it's just, <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I've tried to discourage my girlfriends from wearing makeup. I mean, especially it doesn't. What, what really doesn't make sense about it to me is like why they would even because the idea is they're supposed to attract a man with makeup. Okay, you attracted me, and now I'm here, and I love you. So why are you putting this makeup on still? What's the point of this? I, you know, I want to know what you look like normally. I, I, I want to love that too, and uh, you know, wake up with you in the morning. I think you're beautiful then. I don't care if you, you know, put up all this makeup. In fact, I think you are not as beautiful with the makeup on because you're covering up who you're true. Self is. I think you should wear makeup or not wear makeup at your pleasure, but to claim that it is a male privilege to not have to wear makeup really just doesn't make much sense. When I can tell you my wife doesn't wear makeup, she did fine in her field, and uh, you know her life's great. What's the problem? All right, uh, eight fifty five, four fifty free. Join us here on Free Talk Live. You've heard them on Alex Jones. You've seen them on Ancient Aliens. Now come see them live at Contact in the Desert 2015 in Joshua Tree this May. Experience four full days of science-centered lectures, workshops, intensives, and field work on ancient astronauts, extraterrestrial intelligence, human origins, crop circles, contact experiences, UFO sightings, and more. Meet Chariots of the Gods author Eric Von Daniken, Ancient Aliens host Giorgio A. Sokolos, New York Times bestselling author David Wilcock, Dead Dog. Doctors Don't Lie author Dr. Joel Wallach, astronauts Edgar Mitchell and Story Musgrave, Earth Files publisher Linda Moulton Howe, author Jim Mars, and many of the world's most respected researchers and scientists exploring answers to one of the greatest questions of all time. More speakers, more panels, more things to do. Join us at the Joshua Tree Retreat Center, which has a long history of sightings and contact experiences. For advanced tickets and conference schedule, go to contactinthedesert.com. That is contactinthedesert.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at Africa. 
africa.lrn.fm. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. africa.lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Join us toll-free here. Bring up whatever you want. 855-450-FREE. Uh, we've been talking about, and will continue, because we've only gotten through one of the seven supposed undeniable examples of male privilege, and I think we should probably move it along. I think we've hit the makeup topic pretty uh, pretty good here. So we're going to move on to number two on this list in a moment. Uh, in studio first, though, it's Ian. Cantwell. And Mark. And Mark, tell me about Fort Galt. Well, Fort Galt, what it is, is an idea to create a... I think the best term for it is a condominium complex um, down in Chile. And it's a freedom-oriented place for sort of entrepreneurs and the, the free-minded. And they're selling sort of micro units. Um, this isn't some big sprawling complex. This is a place where you're intended to spend most of your time outside of your room in common areas like the, you know, their coffee bar, the mm. restaurant, um, you know, different places, the, the, the business office thing that they've got, whatever it is, you know, working and, and doing whatever it is you want. And bouncing ideas off of other people who are sort of like-minded. And I think it's a fascinating concept. Uh, now, they're in the planning stages, and, you know, they don't request money from you until they reach each stage. So there's several different breakpoints. You're not putting all your money out at once okay. or anything like that. There's refunds if things don't work out. They understand that, you know, that they're, they're, they have an idea and not much more at this point. Looking at land and different places to go, it's a uh, it's an ambitious idea, and one worth checking out. Go to fortgult.com. Check it out at fortgult.com. Yeah, I looked at it. I think it's pretty uh, pretty interesting. Different options are available, so you can get a, a very small kind of berth of a room. Yeah, and, uh, it's really small. Get... They've got really small ones, yeah. micro units for. I think it's uh, as low as ten thousand dollars for a room that's basically like three and a half feet wide. And or one more of an appropriately sized one for a family. So uh, yeah. quite a range, and uh, it's pretty cool. FortGalt.com. We'll continue here. Let's jump back into the list, Mark. This is from what feminist website again? EverydayFeminism.com. All right, let's hear number two on the list. Yep, and, and, and I want to reset this because I think this is important. I asked a question on our Facebook page is why hasn't any feminist ever made a reason, a call and made a reasoned sort of argument for these ideas on Free Talk Live. We open up the phones seven days a week for three hours a night. Is it that they don't think they'll get on? Do they not feel that like there's, because the majority of the ho hosts are male, that they don't feel like they're going to be mm. heard? I've attempted to open up the lines of communication uh, as best we can, but, I, you know, and, and many times people that want to use the state aren't interested in talking, right? They're interested in shoving rules down people's throats. And that's what I've seen mostly from the feminist community. Mm. There are libertarian feminists out there, anarcho-feminists and, and these kind of folks. Yep. I often haven't heard what I consider to be motivating uh, and uh, convincing arguments from that side of the field either. 
But, uh, you know, like, so I asked uh, this question. Why haven't they called? Somebody posted this article, and I had read it right after another article, and just kind of, I compared and contrasted in my mind. This and one this is, is not satire. This is real. This is a real article. It's the seven undeniable examples of male privilege right. in your daily life. Number one being a, a short uh, getting ready time for work. Number Ridiculous. two, this male who's writing this says, I have the privilege of a gender that confers authority. Huh? I work like you know. This is his claim: is is that basically because you're male, um, you have authority. And then if um, you know if women try to exert authority, they're called bossy. Now this is at a world where I don't know about you, Ian, but I had the authority figure in my um, life that was most prevalent were my mother and my grandmother. Yes, you better believe that ultimately my dad was there if uh, you know punishment was to be meted out but i went to a school where i didn't have a single male teacher until i was in the seventh grade hmm. so i was at, so and, all of your authority figures were female and i went to a nursery school that was uh, full of women yeah i mean basically the only male in my life that was not my peer was my father yeah so and and you know he worked a lot wasn't there most of the time that kind of thing and I would say that this is probably pretty similar my son Jack he spends more time with his mother than he does with his father because I'm working his mother is a full time stay at home mom and so she's she's doing schoolwork with him and doing all the things that one does this is the claim is is that th you know that there's an authority figure perhaps men aren't authority figures maybe they're just scapegoats. For well, child punishment. So uh, I think you raise a really important point that as as we're brought up, the vast majority of us will be raised majority by females, right? We have in majority of cases our, our mothers are you know around more. Uh, in early childhood education is almost entirely run by women. Even so in high school, it's it's at least fifty fifty. Yeah, uh, but I will I will grant him something about this, right? Like I think there's something about some you know uh, some bass in a voice. I mean, yeah. even to speak to an animal, right? So like I had a dog. And my dog would go out in the yard and bark, and my mom would go and be like, Spike, come in the house. And the dog would just fundamentally work. not listen to my yeah. mother, and I'd be like, Spike, get over here. And then the dog would come, right? Mm -hmm. So there's that, and I think like um, it's also been said that uh, in a lot of cultures, like facial hair is a sign of uh, authority, right? Like if you have a, a, a beard, that's, a, that's a, a sign of authority. And in, in a lot of cultures, they perceive it that way. So I will grant them that, uh, that the male, the, the gender does infer a certain amount of authority but at the same time well if you're in charge of raising the next generation i'd say that there's some offsetting to that which does not mean that i am completely outweighing right. you in terms of a privilege again uh, again women uh, need to be talking to women about uh you know this this idea of authority rather than men because it's women who are essentially using men in many cases as attack dogs for child discipline um, now, if you have a guy with a dog in his hand, a vicious dog, rah, 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 mm -hmm. the dog doesn't have authority. The dog is simply a tool for aggression. And if the mother says, go paddle Johnny's butt, he hasn't listened to me today. The, or the ask father, your father or yeah, something right, like that. Right, and the, all those things. That's not the dad being an authority figure. It's the dad being an attack dog. Well, that would be the woman ceding her authority to the man uh, voluntarily, right? Wrong. I, no, I that contend that women have the authority. Yeah, that is her exercising authority, and, and the man is the blunt instrument, right? The man is the weapon well, in that instance that, that she is – fundamentally what she's doing is she's sicking the animal on you. Well, right, I mean, but she's – she has the authority. Right? As a mom in a family, she has as much authority as the dad. And so, when, day in when, and day out, no, it's not really, it's not really true. Day in and day out, um, you know, if, if the child hears "Stop that, Timmy! Stop that, Timmy! Stop, stop that, Timmy!" over and over again, at some point or another, Timmy doesn't stop it when you say "Stop it." Uh -huh. Then you have to exert other sorts of authority. This is where spankings come in and all kinds of other things. And then, you know, she just never feels like she can get what it is that she wants. She doesn't understand discipline um, generally. So then she brings out the big gun. Now that's just her doing something else, right? Like the, it's the 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 dad is the equivalent of a wooden spoon, not a thinking being, but essentially the mother's. Uh, right. You know, I'm not right a parent. On. I'm not a parent, so I mean, the way I would be thinking about it is that people are equal, and so therefore they have equal amounts of authority in this relationship. But it sounds to me like a mom who says, "Go ask your father," is just abdicating her authority in that instance. She's well, just you're saying, "I don't want to handle different. this." 
um, the fathers say, go ask your mother all the time yeah. too. That's not you're not listening to what we're saying. You're thinking of you've th- you've said something. Go ask your father, and you're on that track, and you're, yeah. you haven't let go of it. Yes, sometimes parents will say, go ask the other parent. I'm not because saying not that sure. means one parent has more authority than the other. I'm saying that both parents have more authority. It sounds like you're arguing that fathers have more authority. No, I'm far- arguing mom. that mothers have more authority. They okay. spend more time, so they therefore they're spending more time, uh, you know, shaping the next generation. Mm. I guess I didn't have that experience as a kid. I, you know, I didn't feel like one of my parents was more authoritative uh, than the other. I guess usually it ultimately slips down to the dad. I think my my in my in my childhood, I was absolutely ruled over by my mother. But when mom could not get what she wanted, then she called dad. Okay, and dad could usually solve it by raising his voice. And if that didn't work, he then would raise his hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So that was at you know just anecdotal information yeah, about you know my own life and I think it's not uh, it's I don't think it's completely atypical. And reading this list, uh, I was really ready for this this big list of things. And I will admit that there is something to number two here that uh, there's some level of authority that you know uh, males may have over females or whatever, and it's cultural and probably deep voices and the shoulder girdle and all that stuff. But number three, the guy says I have the privilege of peeing standing up. <laughs> Well, <laughs> he literally that's the clincher. He literally cites his upgraded peeing technology yeah. as one of the privileges he has and doesn't spend any time talking about um, you know somebody who can shake their groove thing and get what they want. All right, we'll come back with more here in moments. You can take control on Free Talk Live. Well, I did it. I finally left the empire behind. And now that I'm safely settled in Chile, I'm gathering with others like me to build a new community called Fort Galt. Fort Galt is designed to be the ideal home base for professionals and their families to live and work in peace. If you're ready to ditch the super state and bring your business to freer lands, visit us online at fortgalt.com. That's fortgalt.com. Indefinite extension of the human lifespan is coming. But is it coming soon enough for you and me? That's the $80,000 question. I say $80,000 because that's what it costs to have your head cryonically frozen by Alcor. I've committed to do it. I got a life insurance policy, and I made them the uh, beneficiaries. Bam. My best shot at living forever. Interested? Contact them at Alcor.org. A-L-C-O-R dot O-R-G. Mention my name, and I get a free year of membership. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Hey guys, Mark Clare here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the Morning Roar. That's right, every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of the Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view, along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at lionsofliberty.com. Advancing the ideas of liberty daily. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. 
It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t-shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Still to come, more supposedly incontrovertible proof that there exists male privilege. Seven supposedly undeniable examples is what we're going through here from some feminist website, Mark, that you are uh, sharing with us. We'll continue with that discussion. Also, you're welcome to join us here toll-free and bring up whatever's on your mind. 855-450-FREE is the number. We've got Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. And don't forget, if you want to help support Free Talk Live, one of the ways to do it is to become a Free Talk Live amplifier. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. If you want to hear Free Talk Live on more radio stations, if you want us to be available to more listeners all around the country to spread the ideas of freedom. Around then, the world. And around the world, yes. I mean, certainly the majority of our marketing, though, focuses on the United States. Uh, it's just going to be easier to convince a talk radio station in the United States to take this show because we do tend to talk about things that are more relative uh, to this area of the world. Um, and actually, it talk- doesn't stop people from every continent calling in. That's true. Mm-hmm. But, you know, all that said, talk radio doesn't really even exist like it does in the United States in a lot yeah. of places. So um, anyway, you can support the show and get perks like access to the AMP-only Facebook group, AMP-only call-in lines, uh, and more. Go and get all the details over at amp.freetalklive.com. You can use any major credit card via PayPal, or you can use Visa or MasterCard right there on our website at amp, A-M-P, amp.freetalklive.com. We've got Nathan. He's in Texas via Skype. Hello, Nathan. Evening, guys. Hey, what's uh, on your mind? All the- I like all the contrail talk, but uh, that's not why I called in. Um, so I wanted to apologize to Mark. I did a little research, and it does seem like women were more present in advertising positions uh, throughout uh, throughout history. So uh, I was incorrect about that. Oh, so uh, from uh, the basically Mad Men is representing the ad industry, misrepresenting the ad industry as being largely male. Uh, well, it does represent the ad industry as being largely male, and uh, I found some article on The Wire about someone who actually lived during huh? wrong, wrong. They didn't actually go out and pitch accounts or you know, have management positions or things like that. So women worked in advertising, but they didn't generally pitch accounts or have management positions. Is that right? That's right, and the yeah. show depicts a woman who sort of advances from the secretarial uh, area to a, to a ownership. Uh, and creative, partner. right? They were in yeah, creative. yeah, writing ads and stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, so uh, I actually wanted to I wanted to get to the conclusion of uh, of our conversation we had yesterday about feminism in the you know fifties and sixties. That's and, cool. You know, I really want to tell one um, one thing. Many ad salespeople now today tend to be women, but um, Ian, I want to tell you something that happened to an ad salesperson at uh, Clear Channel Sarasota while we were mm-hmm. working there. Somebody I know went to get an ad contract signed. The guy wanted her to come to his house. and I've heard this story, I think, but and please tell it. He was in the pool, and he was trying to convince her to come to strip down into her underpants and come <laughs> down into the pool uh, with him. And essentially, he just a really ham-fisted way of... I, sexually harassing this woman? I don't know exactly. I mean, I, sexual harassment to some extent is just somebody who um, you're not interested in dating. But, uh, you know, like it wasn't really the... Really cool. It was really it's pretty, a tacky move. It was a tacky move, um, full on, and so I'll you can sign s- your contract, honey. If you'll, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying he probably wouldn't have done that to me. Yeah, yeah, right? right. Like I can't see, I can't imagine this con, this uh, construction contractor asking me to strip down in my underpants and get in his pool with him nope. um, while I'm standing there in my you know press shirt with my tie. Mm-hmm. So this is one of the reasons why you might want males doing sales. Go ahead. Yeah. What did she I do? Think part- she just demurred and at some point left. Okay. Oh. 
Well, yeah, I think part of the, the disagreement that we were having yesterday is that I was sort of envisioning, you know, persistent harassment, threats, and stalking. And I, it sounded like you were more talking about, oh, why don't you strip down to your underwear, baby, or, or something like that. What happened yesterday? I'm sorry. I wasn't here. And I'm sure a lot of our listeners weren't. They weren't. Go he ahead. called in with a story from the, the, the TV series Mad Men, uh -huh. which is about, like, ad sales guys back in, what, the 60s or whatever. And, and basically that this, uh, this woman was sexually harassed in one episode of it, and this was supposed to be sort of evidence of sexual discrimination in the workplace, I think. Well, the implication is, so what happens is the show depicts a 1960s ad agency, and the firm gets sold in the last episode or whatever. And at the new firm, we're given the impression that it's a sexist culture, like every man she meets sort of won't demur to her or work with her or, you know, says, uh, hey, want to get dinner or whatever. And uh, and it concludes with this sort of argument where she tries to, uh, you know, intimidate the head of the company into giving her her full payout because she's a, you know, has a partnership stake. And he basically says, well, you're a woman and I don't care what you've done at your other firms. You know, I'll give you 50 cents on the dollar of your partnership stake to never see you again. And uh, so she talks to the men that she knows, and they say, yep, that's the best deal you're going to get. So she takes the deal. So it's this portrayal of a sexist culture where women just sort of can't get ahead as much as men can, even if they're doing the same work. But you're also telling us that this guy gave her the best deal that she was going to get to buy her out, right? Well, it was a crappy deal, but she made that deal initially. She was a partner in a firm that then merged with this other firm. So she made a deal to merge in the hopes that her firm would then be her half of the, the her firm would then become her half of the new firm would be worth more than her current firm today. So she made a a, a deal and that deal didn't work out for her. My mother was the second uh, field engineer for General Telephone and Electronics. There was only one woman that was a field engineer prior to her. Mm -hmm. I have some idea of what it might be like for a woman to, to break ground in a field where they aren't usually there. She really didn't like it when people would call her bitchy when she was giving orders to men. Like mm. that, that was one thing that really bugged her. But she didn't complain much uh, you know, when I was a kid about these kind of things, at least not to me. And even now, you know, basically her thought process was just... It's you have to work, you have to manage different types of people differently, and she considers males and females to be different. So she had to manage males differently than she managed females. This was somebody who was able to work within an existing culture and rise above. Whereas what we hear today so many times is a bunch of muling bedwetters that wish very much for something to change without them having to change. Mm. And that's not really how the world works. It doesn't matter whether you have a Y chromosome or two X chromosomes. The world doesn't change for you, you must figure out how to work within it. I spent a lot of my uh, IT career in management, okay? And there were people who would not always respond positively to me barking orders at them, right? Yeah. And they might not have called me bitchy, but they would certainly, uh, and I don't even know what they said behind my back, but I had certain <laughs> things said to my face that were really not nice things. And I just had to deal with it. And because uh, uh, there, there seems to be, you know, what's the, the whole uh, band bossy and all of this garbage that goes on. Uh, well, you know, I'm sorry that somebody's using a word that has a connotation that has something to do with your gender and then that, that upsets you. I'm, so, I'm I lied. I'm not sorry. But it's the same. It's it, fundamentally the same exact thing. If somebody calls me a dick, right, like this is not the end of the world. This is definitely something that's very specific to my gender. And I just sort of am like, OK, you know, fine, you called me a dick, but I'm still your boss. And if you want your job, you know, you better go do what I told you to. Nathan, anything else you want to share? Well, I just think the conclusion is that, you know, a lot of this feminism that you guys are talking about with this nutty, you know, all sexes rape stuff. I don't think that's always existed. It seemed like at least some of the feminists like 50 years ago seemed to have some good ideas about equality, and then things went off the rail at some point. I tend to agree. Thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate it. Let's talk to Adam in Baltimore. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Adam. Hey, guys. Am I, am I clear? Yes. Are you clear? Okay, yes. Good. You sound fine. Go ahead. Yeah, the, the screener said my phone sounded messed up, so I, I had to double check. Thanks. Um, I wanted to talk about the Baltimore riots and um, what's currently going on. Yeah, what is going on? Well, uh, the big news is that the state is going to give the business owners who were hit by the riots or uh, the fires a zero percent interest loan. It's and like I a, just find that I find it laughable. <laughs> well, it's like a natural disaster, right? I mean, like these riots are just a rolling blackout or something. Well, 
Well, yeah, and, and it's funny because I know you guys have talked about this before, um, not necessarily about the riots, but how the police aren't obligated to protect you or your property. That's right. And these business owners, the, the residents of Maryland, are getting a big wake-up call today. And, and I think it's just insane that, uh, you know, there was all these stories about business owners calling the cops and the cops weren't doing this and doing that. It's like, well, what are we even paying these people for if they're not obligated to protect us? You know what I mean? Well, you're paying them because they'll hurt you if you if you don't pay, right? What you say? They'll what? They'll hurt you. That's why. I mean, you asked. Uh, you weren't really <laughs> asking the question. You, you yeah, already yeah. knew the answer to your question. It was a rhetorical question, and the and the answer, of course, is the reason why we pay and continue to pay these government agents is not because we, at least those of us who understand liberty, are expecting any kind of service or reliable service or valuable service. We are expecting to not be handcuffed and thrown into a prison cell if we pay the gang. Right. The right? the whole the whole idea that uh, you know if you ever watched like these police blogs and Facebook pages where they just post memes about how wonderful they are uh, is com- it's completely ridiculous that they're like, well, we put our lives on the line to protect you. Well, no. As soon as there's even the slightest bit of danger, uh, you Officer people safety. you people totally back down. I got in an argument with a cop on Facebook the other day, and I looked at the his profile and his cover photo said if you find yourself in a fair fight your tactics suck thanks for the call adam appreciate hearing from you toll free number 855 450 free we'll continue with hour number three on the way here in moments we've got to get to the remainder of this list we're on we're getting to number three of the supposed male privilege New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine freedom scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. Watching the game again, I thought you were booking our vacation hotel. Done. What? We're staying at America's Best Value Inn, and I scored a triple play when I joined their free value club. Really? You get 15% off, a room upgrade, and late checkout when available, plus free Wi-Fi and continental breakfast at most of their 1,000 hotels. Wow, that really is a slam dunk. Uh, Home run, honey. I think you mean home run. Score big this summer at America's Best Value Inn at abvi.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, May 6th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.54 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,195 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $237. Antiwar.com reports, as expected, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell from Kentucky has cut off debate on the compromise bill aimed at giving Congress the power to veto a P5 plus 1 nuclear agreement with Iran. Senator McConnell's move cuts off debate on further amendments to the bill, which have predominantly aimed to add more onerous restrictions to a nuclear deal that would almost certainly kill the talks outright. This was a contentious subject among Senate hawks, as some wanted the harsher language in the bill, while others believed 
believed to put the veto-proof majority of the compromise bill at risk and might have prevented Congress from blocking the Iran deal in the future. The test vote for the bill is Thursday and aims for a 60-vote majority, which would formally cut off the possibility of getting further amendments into the bill. Hawkish Senators Tom Cotton from Arkansas and Marco Rubio from Florida have blasted the move. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numerary supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the FANS program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot FPP Radio dot com. UPI reports the Obama administration on Tuesday approved companies to provide ferry services between the United States and Cuba. The U.S. Treasury and Commerce Department issued two licenses to operate between the two countries, according to the Sun Sentinel in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Those companies are Havana Ferry Partners of Fort Lauderdale, Baja Ferries of Miami, United Caribbean Lines Florida of Greater Orlando, and Airline Brokers Company of Miami and Fort Lauderdale. One Puerto Rican-based company, American Cruise Ferries, told CNN it has also been granted a license. Cuba must also grant the company's approval in order for the service to proceed. Havana Ferries managing partner Leonard Mocklin Sr. told the Sun Sentinel, I'm very excited because this is a historical event in U.S.-Cuba relations. Traveling by ferry between the two countries is expected to be a cheaper option than flying and travelers could transport larger amounts of luggage. James D. Weinsand, an attorney for American Cruise Ferries, told CNN this is a significant opportunity to advance U.S.-Cuba relations. The news came on the same day that New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced JetBlue Airways, partnered with Cuba Travel Services, would offer direct flights from New York City to Havana, Cuba, starting July 3rd. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports ride-hailing service Uber on Tuesday said it ceased operations in Kansas after the state legislature decided to override Governor Sam Brownback's veto of a bill that would impose stricter regulations on ride-hailing services. Uber said the bill makes it impossible for it to operate in the state. The Kansas Senate on Tuesday voted 96 to 25 to override Brownback's veto of the Kansas Transportation Network Company Services Act. The bill requires companies to certify that drivers have comprehensive and collision insurance and requires new drivers to undergo background checks performed by the Kansas Bureau of Investigation. Uber says it already conducts its own third-party background checks and provides commercial auto insurance coverage. The company has been fighting with cities across the United States, contending that it is not a taxi service and should not be required to adhere to existing taxi regulations. Uber said in March it would halt operations in Anchorage, Alaska until the city can work out details enabling the company's drivers to accept paying fares. In Oregon, the city of Eugene sued Uber in March, asking the court to stop Uber from operating until it meets what the city calls minimum safety requirements. Uber in February said it would suspend operations in Boise, Idaho after reaching an impasse in negotiations with city leaders over new regulations. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The Total Losers Corpse contained no traces of drugs or alcohol, and a superstitious Delta Airlines adds busty mermaids to its plane noses. My friend, you look like you are in need of the world's finest internet news summaries. Please come in and warm yourself by the fire of knowledge. This is the Onion Week in Review. A new law passed in Colorado this week will allow residents with a doctor's prescription to purchase medicinal fireworks, saying that those in need of stargazers, firecrackers, and galleria highlights now need only obtain a 
doctor's prescription, state officials expressed hope that the law would ease the suffering of those in need of huge, dazzling explosions. And in this week's op-ed pages, a man notes that, like it or not, we all die, then get dug up and molested. In other news, white male privilege is squandered on a job at Best Buy, and a local TCBY has missed the past two logo changes. Well, that's it for now. Goodbyes are bittersweet, my love, so I'll only tell you, for more, keep checking theonion.com. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll free. Share your thoughts with us about whatever's on your mind. We'll come back around here to the discussion. Uh, this is sort of the overarching discussion we've been having the whole time about the supposed male privilege. We've got seven undeniable examples, according to some blog site, some feminist blog. I I keep forgetting the name of the blog, Mark. What is it again? Everyday Feminist. Everyday Feminist. Everyday Feminism. feminism. Everyday Feminism. Everydayfeminism.com. The seven supposedly undeniable examples of male privilege, which include uh, men not having to go through and put on makeup, because apparently all women have to put on makeup. And now we've gotten to the real gem, which is that uh, you can pee standing up as a man. We're going to get into it here uh, in a moment. It's Ian, Chris, and Mark in the studio. Let's go to Zach first, though. He's in Minnesota via Skype. Hello, Zach. Uh, Good evening, Ian, Mark, Chris. How you doing? Hi, Zach. You're on the air. Go ahead. Um, I just uh, very briefly wanted to to call in. I was listening to um, the podcast from Monday night uh, in the car today. And uh, the part that kind of sparked my interest was, um, Mark, where it sounded like you were kind of beating yourself up over the force field stocks. Um, I just want to uh, know whether, in, in this case, the force field energy, which is a company that we um, you know, had a- advertised here on Free Talk Live, and I told people that I felt like it was going to go up in value. And I just wanted to get people's feedback because what, the only thing that we have on Free Talk Live really is the value of our word. And just, I just want to get people's ideas. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I, I did purchase uh, not not a lot. Um, I opened up a, a trading account. I only bought ten shares, you know, just to kind of see it because the the idea behind their company uh, sparked my interest. I did a little bit of research um, on Seeking Alpha and uh, Zach's research, and they all said there's a lot of articles that said this was a buy. Yeah, that, that their business model was promising. And, um, you know, everything else. So I, I just wanted to call in because obviously mine, mine took a dive too, all, all 10 of my shares. Um, and I didn't really know what was going on. I, I got an alert from uh, my trading account saying, hey, uh, something's taking a dive. And I just chalked it up to, well, that's the market. And, you know, I didn't really pay much attention to it until you guys had brought it up on Monday when, um, you know, I heard that there was maybe uh, some shady dealings afoot and that was what was causing it. But uh, I I just wanted to call in and uh, tell well, just you to at clarify, least from, before you go on. I mean, just to clarify something: when you bought the shares of this stock, was it at the time that we were advertising it? Yes, it was. Yep. So did it go down immediately because ours went up? So I presume that meant that it went up for a period and then went down. Right. Yeah. Uh, last I really paid attention to it, I think I was about seven or eight dollars a share, right around there. Yeah. I mean, it was a significant um, increase. Right, with you know, if you look at return on investment, yeah, that was that was pretty good. I mean, I was still only at about maybe fifty bucks or you know whatever it was, but um, and then yeah, it took a dive here recently. Um, but you know, I just wanted to call in and, and say at least me, and of course this is just my opinion. I I don't fault you guys at all. I mean, one, it, it was they're just an advertiser, so that that's is how I is. feel about it. I mean, look, it's yeah. buyer beware. I there, there's been a lot of hand wringing over this uh, on the the Free Talk Live AMP forum, and I don't I don't mean to in, in, I don't mean to suggest that the people who are criticizing are being mean or anything like that. They're they're not. They're they're just kind of giving their feedback, like they felt like concerned. They felt like uh, us recommending this particular stock or suggesting this uh, particular stock as an option to buy 
was somehow deleterious towards our validity as uh, as human beings or talk show hosts. Talk show hosts, or, which you know, of the, course our validity of talk show hosts have been called into question so many times since we've been on air that it's uh, it's amazing. You know, if you don't uh, agree with my stance on chemtrails, people will not uh, trust you as a talk show host. If you talk about yeah. chemtrails as though you believe in them, people will not trust you as a talk show host. It's every issue, every time. Right, really. and that's what I that's where I ended up just sort of coming down on this with, with the critique was look like, and I understand where you're coming from with the critique and. I'm not talking to you, Zach, but the people who were critiquing. Right, right. Uh, I, I can understand where you're coming from. Like, okay, stocks seem more risky than the average advertiser, right? Like, you know, if you're going to buy some My Magic Mud and, you know, it's either going to work for you or it doesn't. It's not the end of the world. It's uh, $25 for a bottle, right? It's not the end of the world. But if you put in $25,000 into this company, then obviously there's a little more on the line. And I can see how that has a different feel to it. But fundamentally, it's all the same. You're you're just advertising a company and whatever their product or service is. And you either believe the claims and you jump on board or you stay skeptical and you remain on the outside of it. And in this particular case... This company was making certain claims. We had uh, stock in this company as part of the deal of their advertising. They paid us in stock, which, by the way, I really didn't necessarily care too much to be paid in stock, but I was willing to do it because, well, either you get paid in stock or you can say no to this advertiser, basically, and we had the room to put them in, so we, we put them in. So we were invested in that way and that we did not get cash uh, out of this advertiser, we we had stock, so we weren't, and doing... we had to stay in that stock for six months. That's correct. So we were locked so in. I was really relatively certain that we were going to get as much, if not more, um, out of what we invested. And I told people uh, sort of about the time frames and stuff. Well, like I that. wasn't. So I don't know how you could be certain about a stock because it could go I said down. Relatively okay. certain. Well, I didn't. I didn't have that certainty, right? I to read me, the articles of like... a bunch of experts. I know I'm not yeah. an expert, Ian. That's why I read the articles. Well, I don't you believe took what my the word. experts say either. You don't believe anybody, right. but you did believe me. <laughs> but it was. No, but it was either that or run the spot for Derek J's victim was crimes free right. again. <laughs> I didn't believe you, Mark. I said I would be willing to do it. That doesn't mean that I believe the stock's going to go up, and I made it clear on the radio that this could go down. This is a risk. So it wasn't like we were getting on the air saying, hey, everybody, this stock's going to go up. It's going to be the best investment of your whole life. Well, I mean, we didn't make any promises like that. Mark, you may have believed the stock was going to go up because of your due diligence that you performed, but that does not mean the stock was going to go up. And uh, we never made any kind of representations about that. It was always, hey, you know, get your prospectus, look into this, uh, take your time and, you know, figure out whether you want to get involved in this. There's risk involved. All investments involve risk, which is why we'll also say, look, hey, you probably don't want to buy any more Bitcoin than you can afford to lose because right. it could go to zero tomorrow. It's probably not going to go to zero tomorrow based on all the evidence, but it could that's what risk is about. And if what if we're being critiqued for advocating or not advocating but for promoting products that involve risk, then maybe we shouldn't be taking Fort Galt or all kinds of other products that we've advertised over the years. Uh, look, not much risk with Fort Galt. They actually have a tiered um No, like, I agree. I think Fort Galt is smart in the way they're doing things. You don't have to pour in all the money at once up front, which would make it very difficult to sell that, right? Because how do you know they're not going to take the money and run? I mean, you never know what's going to happen. How could we have known that even with the due diligence that you performed, Mark, how could you have known that these executives had supposed Supposedly, allegedly been involved in some shady deal in the past. You didn't know that, and had you known that, you probably wouldn't have gotten on board with this deal. Well, they wouldn't have known. They honestly, when they pay their advertising up front, they don't know if we're going to go on there that night or ever again. We could take their money and run. That's we, certainly yeah, we true. Could choose that you know, like I just don't have to live this way anymore. We're and take shutting the show down. Yeah, I'm out of here. Cash all the checks and uh, and close out the deal. You don't know what's going to happen. So, I mean, like whether it's advertising a casino or advertising a stock or advertising some sort of you know investment into real estate. Hey, if you don't want to lose the money, just keep it in your bank account and don't buy it. Sorry. Go ahead, Zach. Yeah, no, um, uh, I mean, Ian, you, you've said everything, everything that I called in to say. Um, so, so, Mark, don't don't beat yourself up. Yeah, Everybody on the app forums, pound sand. <laughs> hey, thanks for the call tonight, Zach. I do yeah. appreciate it. If you're uh, not on the amp forums, Zach, you better be. <laughs> Look, like Fort, we talked about Fort Galt. I, I brought up Fort Galt in the conversation previously because the idea is that's risky, right? You're, it's not as 
big of a dollar because the uh, the FNRG, this force field stock, they were asking people to buy a certain amount. Now Zach went and he got his own brokerage account. He paid a slightly higher price because what we were offering the the on air deal was, was a discounted price. Was but... a discounted price on the stock if you bought a certain amount and if you were willing to hold it for six months. So Zach did not go with that deal. He just bought the stock on his own. That yep. way he could sell it and buy as he wanted to, and he held on to it, so it lost value over uh, over the long term. But in the short term, it did gain value, and had he sold in the short term, he'd have won on that one. Now, we didn't know it was going to go up. We don't know. You never know what the future is going to be. And why we're getting a, a hard time over this, I guess, it's just certain people have certain feelings about certain types of products, I suppose. And some people feel like stocks are this sort of risky thing that we're not experts, so we shouldn't be making any recommendations. Well, how can anyone be an expert on stocks? All these supposed experts, they're wrong all the time, too. What the hell does anybody know about what's going to happen tomorrow? Are you completely free of stress and fatigue? Well, of course not. You aren't alone, though. Now think about how nice it would be to begin relieving some of that stress and fatigue. Let me introduce you to a product that has and is working for me. It's called Youthful Greens. Youthful Greens. It's packed full of nature's nourishing, cleansing, and alkalizing greens, providing a powerful dose of whole food nutrition in each serving. Youthful Greens helps increase overall energy levels and reduce all that fatigue and stress on your body. And right now, when you visit freegreens.net or call 800-333-6923 and order your one-month supply of Youthful Greens for only $29.95, you get another month's supply for free. That's two months of Youthful Greens for the already low price of just $29.95, plus free shipping. That's saving you $45. Visit freegreens.net today or simply call 800-333-6923. And hey, you're welcome. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world, so I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. 
If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want right here, toll free, 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. And, you know, when it comes to advertisers here on Free Talk Live, we've, we've had a number of them over the decade or so that uh, we've been on the air, and we do our best, and I guess when I say our best, that, it, that means that we can only put so much time uh, and effort into validating and verifying uh, the claims of the advertisers. And uh, there certainly have been a number of them that we've said no to over the years. Like, nope, we would not feel comfortable promoting that particular product or service on our radio show. And so, I mean, we generally feel comfortable with the ones that we allow on the air. And I can tell you, in the earlier days of Free Talk Live, we were a little more fast and loose with this particular policy because, well, it was a little harder to find advertisers in the uh, the the earlier days. I think we've learned some lessons, too. We did. Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes those lessons come the hard way. But I feel like now the Free Talk Live that exists today and, and did exist at the time during the, the force field stocks that we were talking about previously – uh, we have done our due diligence, at least as much as you know feasibly possible, given our circumstances, to look into these companies. And another great company that I've enjoyed uh, using their product is ProXPN. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL, and uh, you can download their app to help protect you from packet sniffers and internet service providers logging your activity, people trying to, you know garner information about your activity on the internet. There are people out there that want that information. They're willing to sell it. They're willing to give it away. And you can stop it from happening by using ProXPN software for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, Android, and Linux. Just go and download it for free at ProXPN.com slash FTL. Get started there with their protection. And then when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account, you get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can access, you can privately torrent, and get past regionally blocked websites. Uh, this is a great product, and uh, you can go and try it out right now at proxpn.com slash FTL. When you're ready to upgrade, though, use promo code FTL50. That gets you 50% off the price of the annual account. Now, do we have to stop down every time there's risk involved in our advertisers and point it out to you? Because if you're buying an annual account, whether it's at ProXPN or it's at the gym or wherever, there's always the chance... That that company could close its doors in the middle of your annual account. The inter internet could go down and not come back. Uh, I know. My, my <laughs> mom actually had this happen uh, when – I remember when I was a kid, she went to this, like, jazzercise thing or whatever, some kind of exercise -y thing. I don't know if they played jazz or what the deal is with it. Jazzercise uh, would have been about the right time when you were a kid. Yeah. yeah. I've heard it's still around in some places. Yeah, sure. It's great. It's a, it's a good program. But apparently this particular one or whatever literally closed their doors in the middle of the night – and cleared the place out and disappeared. And that, they took everybody's money and they uh, they ran. You never know what's going to happen when you buy an annual account somewhere. But that's one of the reasons why they give you a better discount on the annual account. Because, you know, there is a little bit of risk involved. And so you get a better price. So go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Uh, you can still buy their regular monthly account. You just have to pay more for it. But if you want to get the good deal, use code FTL50 and you'll save 50%. And I don't know, they've been on for, what, this is like year number two with ProXPN? It seems like we've been on with yeah, them for, about that, for a little while. So uh, they're People still People keep it. on buying it, I'll tell you. It's yeah. amazing. Um, it's a good product. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it's a testimony to how many new people we're reaching all the time. People keep on buying ProXPN.com accounts. I, I was kind of surprised. Well, it's the kind of thing you would want to share with people, too, right? Like, hey, this works for me. It could, you know, work for you, my friend. Yeah, but friend trying to get somebody to go to ProXPN.com slash FTL is a little more difficult if you're just sort of selling word of mouth. So True. people are hearing it on Free Talk Live. They're In all likelihood, they're not, um, you know, maybe they're getting their friends and family to use the coupon code FTL50. I don't know. Got it. So proxpn.com slash FTL, coupon code FTL50. I don't know, guys, more to say on this uh, stock topic, or should we jump back into uh, feminism? Let's go back to, uh, let's punish ourselves with the feminism talk. Right. So back to this article from everydayfeminism.com that I found when I uh, posted, uh, that somebody posted on uh, Free Talk Live's Facebook page when I asked, why doesn't some feminist call in with reasoned responses? Somehow, I believe that the globe 
is it the, the country isn't full of people who have fallen for the ideas of feminism because they have no validity whatever right like they must have <laughs> some validity so i'm i want to hear that validity so I'm i understand so glad a more. that you're looking into this you're going to drive yourself out of your mind so uh, this article of the seven undeniable reasons why male privilege exists written by a male who identifies as a as a woman has completely lost all credibility with number three when he says i have the privilege of peeing standing up this is not a this is not some kind of onion article where people are just you know making fun mm -hmm. this is literally what he wrote in here this is one of the top stories on their website and it's ridiculous in this where he talks about how you know he gets to go into nightclubs where there's uh you know no um urinals where the urinals don't where he can doesn't have to wait in line and things like this he doesn't even mention if we're going to talk about physical traits let's talk about gals being able to wear low-cut shirts and get free stuff mm. get into you know get moved to the front of the line it's and things privilege. like that I, I worked with a lady who was very nice looking who said to me um, and this is what the advice she had told me. She was giving advice to a new gal. Said, "If you want to sell more ads, don't wear stockings." So she, um, I don't know what she meant by that exactly. Looking in retrospect, it could have meant in even more than I imagined. But um, you know, she bare wear, legs, right? It, that's what it meant to me at the time. Okay. Uh, but I. I'll admit, I was, you know, relatively fresh out of prison. I don't know what all these terminology yeah. means. Uh, maybe it meant wearing no underpants at all. I don't know. Mm. But she wore skirts that came above her knee, but I wouldn't call them micro skirts or anything like that. She yeah. wore, uh, and she was an advertising executive, and she didn't wear, yeah. I mean, it was, I liked looking at her legs. I mm -hmm. did. And I imagine that there were business owners that probably said to themselves, I really like it when this gal comes in here. Sure. She's got pretty legs and pretty parts. That's why you and hire pretty like girls that. to do sales. But she was very clear on what she was doing to to the issue at hand i think being able to pee standing up is a really handy feature i like it i really do enjoy that i can just sort of like go dip behind any tree or building and let go right there are ways to do it as a woman i've seen video footage of this chris you're pulling something up on your yeah phone i don't know right if you now. want yeah. to hoot that it's on amazon.com it's yep. for nine dollars and 92 cents i think the price tag i didn't is know the it. name of, the, of this but yeah i knew they had a tool there's some sort of a tool that uh, this one is called the go girl female urination device Yes. Uh, For ten dollars, you can upgrade to male privilege. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. Well, so, there's actually also a technique that you don't have to use that with, which involves sort of pulling certain parts on the uh, vaginal area to sort of aim. I don't even want to know. Yeah, I don't know how it works, <laughs> I, and I don't know how effective. <laughs> I don't know how effective it is either. But uh, you know, I, I've seen videos claiming that this works. Where Number are four. you watching videos <laughs> of girls Indeed. manipulating their labia in order to... <laughs> <laughs> Number four, <laughs> he claims, I have the privilege to show skin. And he's literally saying that he can take his shirt off and go running. You can take your shirt off and have guys throw dollars at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. If you're a woman. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's right. This is not a woman writing this. I forget. So, uh, yeah. So, men, uh, yeah, it's, it's considered generally more socially acceptable for us to walk around with our shirts off, right? And it is. But I think that the same woman who would complain about not being able to walk around with her shirt off would also complain about, like, uh, uh, untoward sexual advances. And it's like, yeah, you know, this is sort of how that we were uh, sort of built up that I'm going to be like, ooh, that's very interesting. I well, would like to go speak with that. <laughs> if you don't get to if you don't get to see it very often, it's going to be more interesting. He's complaining about laws. There are no laws here where I live. It's so true. It, we'll this is all about more. social pressure. Here in moments on Free Talk Live. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products, most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com. 
home of the Berkey guy. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about, but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If you're looking for work, the person you are applying to is probably so swamped with applicants that he or she is tough to reach. So call early in the day, before 8 a.m., before the palace guards arrive. You'll need your prospect's direct number, and here's a sneaky way to get it. Suppose the company's main number is 555-5000. You should call 555 501 Two. When someone says, good morning, Pam Johnson, you should innocently say, oops, somebody here must have written this down wrong. I was calling for Tom Frederick. What's his direct number? If the very next thing you hear isn't Pam giving you Tom's number, it may be, good morning, Tom Frederick. For more tips for job seekers and getting better results in all your day-to-day -day communication, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can dial on in toll free to join us here at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you on the website with you in studio. It's Ian Cantwell and Mark. And uh, also, again, the website features do include the ability to actually submit content right there to the front page of the site and vote on what you like and what you don't. Um, and as far as things that you like, if you've had Sherry's Berries, you'll probably have them again at some point because they're awesome. Uh, it's delicious chocolate-dipped strawberries. White chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, topped with chocolate chips, nuts, decorative swizzle. They're amazing. And your mom is going to love them. Mother's Day's coming up this weekend. It's Sunday, and it is not too late to order her some Sherry's Berries. So what you do is you go to berries.com. B-E-R-R-I-E-S dot com. Click the microphone. Type in code FTL. That's FTL like Free Talk Live to get these delicious freshly dipped strawberries starting at just $19.99 over a 40% savings. But the deal just got better uh, today. It's maybe today only. It's not real clear. So maybe today and tomorrow. I don't know when this expires, so I would recommend not waiting on this. Berries.com. If you want to double the size of the order... You just add in another 5 bucks. It's usually $10 to double the size of the order at, at berries.com. Now, just $5 if you use code FTL at berries.com. These are some of the best berries. I mean, the period. They take like the, they take, it seems like they take the top 10% of berries and then take the top 
ten percent of those berries. I mean, they they really have the best berries that they're using here at berries.com for this uh, this chocolate dipping process that they do. So go and try it out for yourself and get some for mom. Berries.com code F T L. Double the order for just five dollars for a very limited time. How limited? Get I have no idea. Yeah, so go right now. Berries.com, code FTL. Uh, we're talking about... Yeah, we were talking about sort of the male privilege thing. And alleged I, and, male and, privilege. And what are the, the, we just went over that uh, one of the, these male privileges is that you can pee standing up. And, you know, look, ladies, if male privilege got you down... Why don't you go over to shop.freetalklive.com. Yeah. That'll take you to our uh, Amazon affiliate links. And then once you go there, you can go and search Amazon for the Go Girl female urination device. And that's uh, so cool. $9.42. And then when you do that through shop.freetalklive.com, we get a little cut of the action there. That's right. And, uh, it's, a, it's a big help. And, and you can overcome this, this horrific oppression <laughs> that uh, my ability to pee on a tree. Yeah, uh, this is coming from everydayfeminism.com. Yes, now you too can be arrested for uh, indecent exposure. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was an article that I, uh, you know, sort of, it was it was put on Free Talk Live's page when I asked, why don't feminists call in and give me a reasoned response? I can't be expected mm -hmm. to come up with everything on my own and understand everything about the world on my own. People have to explain things to me. I make it relatively easy. I've read articles. I haven't been convinced yet. Somebody out there can convince me of these ideas. So I read this article uh, about uh, proof of undeniable proof of male privilege. Seven so points. far, thoroughly unconvinced. Yeah. Well, there, there were a couple that we talked about a little bit, um, which was like the, uh, well, for instance, men can pee standing up and they come with upgraded peeing technology. However, there are differences in, um, uh, you know, the body types. And he mentions nothing about yeah, what women have uh, in, in their bodies. How often do ladies get their uh, lips stuck in a, uh, in a zipper? I don't know, and I'd prefer not to talk about it. Um, but I mean, that is a like that's a downside, right? I mean, they're they're claiming this is an upgrade to uh, peeing technology, but the downside no, is no, that I'm claiming that. Okay, but there's a downside to this. It's not necessarily just an upgrade, right? There are risks involved in using the uh, the penis to uh, to pee, and that is if you're not paying close close attention. Uh, and many men have had this happen to them. You could either catch uh, the you know your penis or the the scrotum in the uh, the actual zipper, and that is a very painful occurrence. Let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, uh, it's it's an entirely different experience for us to go without underwear than it is for them. I mean, yeah. uh, that's that's a big female privilege right there. But we had agreed that there was a certain amount of sort of authority that's conferred with the gender with the with the male gender. We had given we'd given a little room on that uh, point, and I think that that's worth it. All right. um, the privilege of going around without having a shirt on um you know you this can was do number it four was, was that number, number four? four was uh, not not wearing a shirt you can do that yeah you're probably going to get some looks but you you know somebody has to blaze the trail ladies if that's what you want now this is a guy writing this article this is why i think it's ludicrous i don't know any women who want uh the the right to be able to bear their shirt you know bear their breasts in public that don't do so well the the, the specific line that he used was you can show skin yeah. now i would make the case that women could actually get away with showing a lot more skin on a regular basis than men generally can it's right true. like if i actually went into a store in some i don't know some really short shorts some or Daisy something Dukes. like that and like a really tiny tank top i think i'd look fundamentally <laughs> ridiculous and that and that this would not help me socially in the in the slightest way at all and if i go into the vast majority of businesses i think they don't appreciate you walking in there with right. no shirt on so they can actually wear clothes that look appealing on them that show a lot more skin and then I can wear I that's and true. still look appealing. He was talking specifically about jogging, which the vast majority of men don't do. Mm. So, you know, there you go. Uh, it's a privilege, I suppose, to jog without a shirt on and wear the little so so silky short short the guys that well, jogger guys wear. Just to be clear, uh, ladies generally want to wear some sort of um, bra, some sports bra during yeah, a, a good jogging idea. thing because it jostles. But remember, he's talking about without it. what you're born with because he's talking about standing up and peeing. So mm -hmm. at that point, you know, it's just bad. Of course, he doesn't talk about uh, he doesn't talk about testicles, which are pretty sensitive things too. Yeah. And uh, you know, can be a bit of a pain at times. Number five, I have the privilege to move about without fear of assault, harassment, 
or rape. That's ridiculous. That is the most ridiculous thing. Now, I would say that women are generally out on the street and in certain areas probably more likely to be raped than men, you know, and they're significantly less likely to wind up in prison and there's, you know, all types of stuff to that. Well, I almost let an S word slip. <laughs> so, uh, so, but at the same time, the, I think the vast majority of your street assaults are mm. taking place on men, and I don't have the stats in front of me, but maybe I'll pull them up on how much more frequently men are the victims of uh, you know street violence. Yeah, the, the whole idea that just because you're a man, you all of a sudden can feel totally safe whenever you're in a, ba- a bad neighborhood is, uh, is absolutely preposterous. He does have some charts here that uh, talk about street harassment. Um, now, I do get harassed when I'm on the streets, but usually people are asking me for money as opposed to sex, mm-hmm. but fine. Um, it's still harassment. I, it's not wanted, and I'm not interested in it. But this is the only one that my wife wife had some kind of agreement with. I read all these to her last night just to, look, honey, I need a little help with this. What do you think? And she, she's this is the only one she agreed with. She was interested at one point in traveling South America, and she's just like, you know, I don't feel safe doing it on my own. The, he wants, she wants to go to the Caribbean and all that stuff, and she doesn't feel safe doing it on her own. She wants to have a man along with her, and I can understand why she might feel that way. Like, you know, there's just not enough, not as much law enforcement or whatever, so she didn't feel as safe. And certainly some women choose not to. I used to go out walking at, uh, after midnight. Probably not as many women doing that. So I think that there's something to this, but... What am I, as, as a man, I, you know, this is just sort of shaming me for the fact that I can go out at night and travel around Caribbean countries without anybody caring whether I'm there or not. The thing is, I, I think that uh, at least in the United States, and I mean, it might be different in other countries, but at least in the United States, uh, you're you're significantly more likely to be the victim of, of random violence on the street as a male than as a female. But you also typically have a better capacity to defend yourself against that violence. And I think that there's some lesser likelihood of um, reporting a simple assault if you're a man than, than a That's woman. Probably That's true. probably true. But the ladies can always carry a gun if they're um, you know, scared. You can always go take martial arts classes. I mean, yeah. anybody's... I I, I, they can <laughs> carry a gun if they're in New, in New Hampshire in, I think, uh, significant portions of the country that's cannot, significantly yeah, that's more true. difficult. It is and something I wouldn't they be choose. surprised to find out that this guy's some California and New York liberal who thinks that carrying a gun <laughs> is like the craziest thing in the world, right? Yeah, sure. I wouldn't doubt that at all, but he's talking to some extent about choices the choice of whether to go out on the streets or not, and the choice of whether or not for me to go out on the streets is there. The choice of t- to defend myself is there. I could choose not to defend myself, and she can choose not to prepare to defend herself by bringing a gun. These mm-hmm. are all about choices, not about privilege well, necessarily. You still have to. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. I got to disagree with you there. You, just bringing a gun is not a solution. You have to train with the gun. You have to spend time learning how the gun works. You don't just sure. go buy a gun and shove it in your purse and, and expect that you're going to know how to use it when it doesn't the time jump comes. up and kill criminals. That's for. Sure. Yeah. So that pr- thing comes out, criminals run. True, but it would help if you knew how to use it, Certainly. wouldn't it? Uh, 855 450 free. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. So, yeah, you got to be prepared, whatever your gender is. Kid, this facility is like a ship. So, how do I keep us on course without micromanaging every detail? Easy with Granger. Granger's online tools help give me the visibility I need. I can shop, order, and manage all our activity. Oversee purchases, control costs, all while you guys get to order what you need when you need it. I run a tight ship, kid. I run it with Granger. Get it? Got it? Good. Learn more at Granger.com slash online purchasing. Granger, for the ones who get it done. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine freedom scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read chapter one at SurvivorMax.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional 
installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. There are two types of advertising. Poll advertising, like Google AdWords, where a consumer goes looking for widgets near them and you try to pull them in with your ad away from the other widget purveyors. Then there's push advertising, where you push your message out about your great widgets and attempt to convince people who weren't thinking about widgets at all that what they need in their life right now is your widget. Radio is push advertising. In the course of a week, there are probably over a quarter million good folks listening to Free Talk Live, and they could hear your message. We are having a sale right now, and it ends May 15th. 200 30-second ads for $1,997. That's like 10 bucks an ad. Find another show with that kind of rate with 150-plus stations. Email me, Mark Edge at mark at freetalklive.com, and I'll set you up. You don't need to have an ad. We'll produce it for you. Buy 200 30-second ads by May 15th and get them for less than $10 a piece. It's a big savings, and you don't want to miss it. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Now, here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Tollhouse Morsels, helping you create special moments and memories your family will cherish forever. Visit us at tollhouse.com. You may bake for birthdays and holidays, but why stop there? Sweeten up the rest of the year by designating monthly dessert days. Treat your family to one of their favorites or surprise them with something new. Either way, you'll create a tradition everyone will love. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, you may dial in here toll-free. Male privilege, uh, we've got the six, or seven, excuse me, seven uh, supposedly undeniable this is the word they use in the article undeniable everydayfeminism.com uh yeah undeniable examples of this supposed male privilege which includes such shocking examples as you can pee standing up as a man uh walk around with your shirt off as a man and uh let's see what was one of the other ones oh yeah short uh, morning routine these were some of the the most laughable ones uh in the entire list we're on what number six Yep, number six. And we're going to continue that. Also want to let you know, if you want to help support Free Talk Live uh, and LRN.FM and the dozens of great liberty-oriented programs there, you can help us get back on satellite in Africa for just a few bucks over at africa.lrn.fm. Well, it's going to cost more than a few bucks to make this happen. I'm looking to raise $22,000, but that'll actually get us on for three years of 24-hour-a-day, seven-day-a-week liberty broadcasting to most of the continent. And you can go and see the signal map and uh, watch a four-minute long video that will kind of give you the idea as to why this is so important. To me, it's important because I think spreading the message of liberty is a worldwide goal. I think that it's something that we want to see people all around the world embracing. And if they don't hear the message, then they can't possibly embrace it, right? So uh, you can help us out. There's perks that you can get. In fact, Daryl W. Perry, uh, I think we announced this last week. He uh, is our Friday night co-host, and he announced last weekend that he was adding a perk. Uh, because, Mark, you you and Angel Clark have perks where $100 donators can have you cut a custom voicemail greeting for yep. them. I'll make so, some audio for you if that's so, what you want. You know, you write the greeting, Mark reads it, saves it, sends it off to you. Uh, that's a hundred bucks. Daryl said he'd do it for seventy-five. So there's now competition among the uh, the perks. He's got a better the, voice too. African fundraiser. So go to africa.lrn.fm and uh, please contribute what you can, and then please share the link. That's africa.lrn.fm. If anybody wants a Cantwell voicemail, I'll do that for them too. You can throw that in as a perk. Really? Yeah. Okay. How much? How much should the perk be? 
You you tell me. I, I'm I'm going to give it to. I'm donating it to to Free Talk Live. I'm donating okay. it to LRN.FM. Right. So you set that. Do you want to be on the level of Daryl Perry or uh, or on Mark? Well, I'll say that. Uh, why don't you give us a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars for a can. Well, so far I think we've had one person jump on uh, on the perk for Angel Clark. I don't think anyone's bought yours, Mark. I'm sorry to tell you. Fine, but uh, yeah. I'm just ha- look. I all I want is for us to be able to get on in Africa. So Africa.lrn.fm. We'll figure out the details later, yeah. Chris. Uh, let's go, Mark. Number six on the list of supposedly incontrovertible examples of male privilege. Coming from this man who claims to be a feminist, I have the privilege to enjoy the internet without being gender assaulted. What? Um, his claim is is that essentially uh, he's a free to travel without attacks on his gender. Um, to travel online? Yeah, basically to be online, like for instance, you know, anywhere from white supremacists to uh, people who like the Star Wars trilogies. And I will say that I think this is one of the areas that the feminists really have something right is when you go to movies – it's odd, this whole, I can't remember what it's called, but this phenomenon that they that some feminists came up with where women don't generally talk to each other in movies about anything but men. Do you know what I'm talking about? Nope. Okay. No idea. So, so there's this this woman's last name, uh, this, fe- this feminist comedian gal comes up with this uh, thing. Uh, in, in order for your movie to not, up- her rule not to apply, and it's a fant- fantastic amount of movies where it doesn't, where, you know, they don't, they don't fit the qualifications, where you have to have two female characters with names, each of them have to have names, and they have to talk to each other about something that isn't a man. And if your movie has that in it, now consider for a second how many movies have two named male characters in them that talk about something besides a woman, and then uh, you know see that there might be a disparity here. And I think that that uh, I guess I've just never paid attention to this. I mean, I've seen a lot of movies where the females are the main characters; they're the strong characters. Um, but are they talking like, for instance, with Black Widow in? Um, Avengers. Now, I couldn't tell you whether she talks to Scarlet Witch in this movie or not, but I can tell you that if I was making a movie, that I would have at least one scene where a two named female characters would talk to each other about something that wasn't a man. Because this is, it's ridiculous that this has gone on for as long as it has. This, but you're saying you're acknowledging that this exists? This igno- is, exists. It absolutely exists. It's been, this, so, is 20, this is a 20 year old phenomenon. But what about the phenomenon of the movies where the women are the t- title characters? They are the hero in the role, like Aliens is a great example of this. Uh, Ripley, the you know sort of iconic, strong female uh, character. Does she have another female co-host? There's Rodriguez. Co-host, co-star, rather. Rodriguez is the uh, little butch uh, Latino of Vasquez, gal. But Vasquez, yes, I'm sorry, Vasquez. Um, I'm a huge fan of these movies. There's yeah, yeah. also Newt, who's a little girl. I mean, there are multiple female characters okay. in, in the yeah, Aliens that's, that's films. That's great. Because you found a movie does not mean that, look, go, go look it up online. I can't remember what this mm-hmm. lady's name is, and I'm Sorry, I don't know the name. But it, when you look it up, you'll just be stunned by the amount of movies. Mm. Star Wars, for instance. Name another female character in Star Wars that isn't Princess Leia. I don't know Star Wars. Well yeah, I don't know I Star Wars. Now, look, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and I'll grant this to him, right? The, one, I, the uh, Luke's mom or whatever. Yes, she's not in the first three. Okay. That's real Star Wars. The, the, uh, the princess, the, the Natalie Portman girl. Yeah, she's still, okay, so. The second three, then I'm talking about the real Star Wars, the Star Wars trilogy. Then the Luke's mom in the. She's the not beginning. in it. No. Um, There's the, a woman in there that. Uh, right. Not her. Natalie mom or Portman is Luke's mom. No, that that's what right. I meant. We I, still I, have to go back aunt. pretty far to find this. By the, the way, aunt. it's right in the We're beginning. Talking of about the movie. aliens and Star Wars. Yeah, but does that aunt speak to Princess Leia about something doubtful that is not related I don't to think a man? She talks to anybody else. No, I don't think she does either. She just dies. Well, look. Yeah. The, the reason I'm going to give this to him, and I'm sure that we could find examples. We can find examples. I'm certain that they're out there. I'm not a big movie buff, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give him this one. But I'm going to say that that's only because it is a reflection largely of reality. Okay, if you're watching a movie, you're watching a movie about people doing interesting things, right? Are men sort of more driven? Are men more likely to be crime fighters and business titans and that sort of thing? I think so. If you were looking from space and you were looking at the Earth from like down above... You would see a lot of work done by people with Y chromosomes, and you wouldn't see a lot of work done by 
as many nearly as much work done by people with two X chromosomes because right? they don't need to. We said earlier, so like women uh, of the, the the whole makeup thing, they're going to go do all of this stuff, and they're trying to do this in order to attract a man. Right? Men are going out, and largely the reason that we are driven to be successful and do these exciting things is fundamentally because we're trying to attract a mate. Right? We can uh, if we portray or ourselves several. as having a lot of money, uh, wearing uh, nice clothes, having a nice car, having a nice house. These things help us attract mates. It's a it's a mating in instinct that we're driven to go out and do all of these exciting things and then people are going to make movies about people doing exciting things and sure enough hey what do you know they're mostly men it's one of the things that fascinates me about the idea that uh, that you know homo sapiens have lived for 200,000 years on the planet and only in the last 10,000 have we had an agrarian revolution that for 190,000 years uh, you know 19 times the amount of time that we've had sort of anything that might be called civilization we had men and women around and women weren't telling men to build this go <laughs> clear that area you know like <laughs> move this over here and I, it, it's fascinating well, yeah, i'm certain colonies. that they were doing that well before recorded history okay you look at ant colonies right you know you've got all these male ants or whatever i'm going not sure out you there. can relate no they're uh, actually all women. working for the queen you're wrong right they are a bunch of women working for the queen are they really yeah sorry the men are just concubines in that circumstance really? but your analogy is falling apart and i know you went to the smart school uh, what I'm saying at this at this point here is is that not necessarily that the a person can that some that a woman can't go on the internet without her gender being assaulted because women all over America and all over the world go on the internet without their gender being assaulted. I'm having my gender assaulted by this article, but that there are problems out there that need to be addressed. I think still. Um, and that's all I'm willing to give him on this one. I'm not going to just secede point number six to him. I think he's. You know, I think he's just saying things here. I mean, women write movies too. There are women. But that's another thing is, is that complaining about how movies are written is something entirely different than going out and getting into an industry and creating something. Like my mother did, for instance, being the second field engineer for General Telephone and Electronics, going out and w existing in a in a world full of men and and managing to make her her way in that and being so valuable that after she retired, they paid her to come back. Mm. So. Wow. Um, you know, there you go. What's number seven? Number seven. I have the privilege of seeing myself widely and positively represented in the media. This is the sickest and, and most fundamentally ridiculous statement of this entire article. Just go watch, like, Family Guy. Go watch you uh, sound The like Simpsons. Al Bundy. Go watch Al Bundy. Yeah, I mean, any number of things. What is it? Uh, the, Mo and you had the stats for this there there's a study that they so, show where the man is portrayed negatively especially in a family environment that he's just like the bumbling drunken idiot and the wife is the th one that holds everything together sucker punch one of my favorite movies is all about you know bad men abusing uh women i mean there's plenty of man hating if you will in, uh, imagine and a imagine, lot of characters these days even uh hero characters have a bad side Im and you don't see that nearly as often in female characters imagine a tv show where a woman got kicked in the groin and there was a laugh track played you can imagine that about a man not about a woman mm, that's a good point all right so uh, interesting list mark there was another list that we wanted to sort of counter i still got it. to this maybe we'll do it on another night uh, and then don't forget to check out Chris's website, ChristopherCantwell.com, our site, FreeTalkLive.com. See you tomorrow night on Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live. Your show is dangerous for people. Yes, and it is very dangerous for the, for the state. And it's dangerous for the status quo. It's, sure. it's dangerous for the status quo, Bob, and it's dangerous because people like you who only want one particular message, and that is crack down, put all those people in jail. We need to bust the border up and we need to hurt peaceful people. That's what your message is. Yours is the real dangerous message because you're the one who's advocating aggression against peaceful people. Don't you think that's shameful? No, I think if it's against the law, you shouldn't be advocating against the law. I'm for the law. Ding, ding. And if you break the law, hey, it's, it's... In the 1860s, it was against the law for black people to escape from their masters. Do you think they should have been brought back? No. Okay. You're a lawbreaker. The United States made it against the law for Indians to uh, mix with white people. Do you think that that was a good law? No. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG.